Ooh, welcome back, Heavenlies. This is Heaven's Army playing Dragon Quest Builders 2, Episode 4. So, let's talk to everybody, get the quest going, and then run out and grab the last flower seed. And see this giant tree come to life. And I think I got an idea of how this game might be working out now. I, I, thanks to this tree, it kind of gave me an idea of what's going to happen in the future of this game, I think. So, uh, it seems we figured out how to make the water of life, uh, so we have. Whatever it is, it sounds really important, <laughs> impressive. I'm, uh, sure it'll change- charge the tea tree up with no end of power. One of the ingredients, uh, you'll need is a complete mystery to me. What in the world is a leaf of life? With the tree? Whatever it is, I'm sure we'll find it soon enough. In the meantime, we should focus on finishing this blueprint. Well then, while we're doing that, how about you and Malroth go and find the last of the flower seeds we need, indeed. Head uh, west from the bog and keep on heading west and you'll see a pillar of rock jetting out of the sea. You can fly over to the last of the chromatic caves from there. Uh, I'd start by warping to the banks of the bog, if I were you. Uh, have a chat with the fat rat as as lives there while you might uh well you might have some helpful hints for you we're all coming in heavens please find uh, the final set of flower seeds we need perfect um where is he at he's up there Is this the... the end is finally in sight. Is this the uh, end in, in sight, I was thinking. Uh, and what's more, everyone here has the will and the energy to see our mission through. Uh, but there is one thing that we won't be able to handle on our own. Our new Dietri needs a uh, moat. A moat of crystal clear water, which I have. After all, uh, it's a uh, plant like any other, is it not? Uh, but the muddy water that has served us well so far isn't nearly good enough for something so holy. I already got the water, so I'm already set. Wrigley tells me there's an underground spring beneath Foro Field Bog, where pure clean water wells from the ground. So, there you have it, my boy. While we continue constructing construction of the blueprint, you must seek out the spring. You shall mark the location on your map so that you can head straight there. Gather up the water in that bottomless pot of yours and bring it back. <laughs> if you have any trouble, it might help to ask that tomato farming orc I've heard so much about. Uh, from what I've heard, it seems uh, you would be lost without him. Venote is a pot full of water. Nice one. You filled the pot with uh, pure water, right? I have already did this. Again, it, it, my, my first thing though was like, why am I using muddy water? Why can't I get clear water? And the moment I got it, I of course got it. Picked it up right away. Anyway, that stuff should be clean uh, enough to satisfy old Beardy. Come on then, let's head uh, back to the farm. I'm not sure what we need to do with it once we get back though. Uh, we should talk to, uh, ben Benenzo about it. Okay, well, boom. <laughs> Trembling Treevilles, Evans, you found some pure water. I have taken the liberty of marking out four spots on the deity for you to pour water into. The rest is up to you, my boy. seems to have like water falling down and it's filling out the like yeah wh what I don't like how the water is flowing there no oh. oh um the trees are built yet 
Uh, that's funny. Oh, I can't. I can't look at the map. I gotta leave. I'm not jumping out of this tree. I saw the. Uh, I tried the NBCs doing it, and I mocked them. So I'm not gonna do it myself. Okay. Um, we are heading to. Water the deed tree? No. Find the flower seeds. Yes. So yeah, I'm just, I'm here for the game. This game is great. I've been enjoying it. Um, when I get, start running over here, I'll talk about the, the, the tree thingy. And I'm assuming the future things that this game is going to do. Um. Okay, it's Twitch that's blurry. I'm like, why is everything so blurry? It's Twitch again. Uh, it's not running at 1080p, it's running at 360p. Strange. Anyway, hello flowers, welcome back. I just thought my channel was dying, but no, it's just Twitch. Uh, hello there, human. Uh, the sky is awfully ominous today. It's been ominous for a while. There's just a tiny scent of fresh air on the wind, like a... like the shadow of a pleasant breeze. Maybe the time is coming to fulfill the covenant. In that case, uh, you'll need to travel west, human. Travel west and keep traveling west until you can go no further. Squeak. Eventually you'll reach the ocean. There's a sandbar leading around to the south to a great big pillar of rock. If you climb that stack and jump off of the top, you should be able to fly to the nearby island, find the seeds the human elder hid there. There's a human elder that hid those. It's all good, that's good. And remember, human, we fat rats are behind uh, you every step of the way. Yeah, we didn't enter into the covenant lightly, Squeak. Cool, so just head uh, definitely uh, west, which is this way. Yep, I think that's good. What are you? The bokens are green. Sugarcane is green. I'm glad you're all having a grand old time over here. I was like, I thought it was a monster. I was ready to fight it, but nope. Just Mausers. Well, heading west. Oh, <laughs> we broke this a while ago, did we? I just didn't pick him up. Oh, it's nighttime! I didn't even realize the time. That's hilarious. I feel like we're walking backwards. Are we really? No, we're going the right way. We I just I went I walked out here before. Right, I walked out to about this far and I turned around. Right, 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 right. And then I stopped here. Oh, and there's a sleepy orc. Getting attacked by problem oh, I can't jump behind him oh I even ran before he attacked and he still got me did he just give me 21 sugar canes? Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, those rocks look a little bit fancier, so I attacked it. Um... They told me to walk- oh. I gotta walk over here, and then... Oh, am I losing breath?
I never walked over here before. Actually, I should pick up all of this stuff. Yeah, this is all food. I don't know if I need it anymore, but I'll take it while I'm looking at it. That's, again, I used to have to forage for this stuff. I don't miss those days of foraging basically kelp and mussels to live. Um, but the farming is still not perfect either. Um, yeah, I, I wonder if there's a better way to... Are these wilted? Seem different than the other ones. I still got- I still get rope out of it, okay. You still get rope. Don't attack any more Malroth, please. Oh, never mind. Ah, uh, he just destroyed all of them. <laughs> now we're in trouble. Okay. I want to get that dumb monkey back for what he did to Pastor Al. Okay, I thought I was clicking on the sign, everybody, but who knows? Build a new D-Tree and do it quick. There we go. May the pink flowers of the Covenant bring life to the land. A life that lies on the far horizon. This is the first one I don't think that's ever... That's ever updated over there, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're jumping this way. So I like the glider. Very, uh, Breath of the Wilds y. Okay, if you fall down, you can climb back up. Got it. Down we go. Quite helpful. Uh, what's, what's great about it is if I ever fall, I'm gonna be like, oh! And I just gotta remember to hit the X button, and I will never die. Cool. Whoa. Nope. None of that. Oh, we leveled up. Awesome! I hope I get another weapon out of this or something. Mouth goes stronger, I get more HP. And do I... do I get anything? I do, I create something. Come on, let it be a weapon or an armor. Preferably armor, I get hit full damage, basically. A weapon uh, top of a pot fit with a handle to serve as a shield, defense plus five. Can we all get it, or is Melrotha a two-handed wielding... Uh, attacker. Well, I stayed up the whole night. Again, I was told that staying up the whole night doesn't really uh, affect anything. Oh, they're gonna... Those don't give me anything? Okay, strange. Our, that, they give great, great experience. I'm almost, I got a huge bunch of experience already. 
What the what is this? Oh, it's fertilizer. Why did they put the eyes on the on the bag? You see that? Oh, there's a little slime here. Hold on, you're humans, aren't you? What are you doing here? We're here for the seeds. You're a builder? You're goofing. You're, you're goofing? You go in around four field looking for flower seeds to rebuild a dia tree. Gooey, or wooey. Wowie. A human who uh, used to live on this island. You know, she came here to protect some flower seeds from the ill wind. But she died a long slime, a long, long slime ago. You poor humans don't last very long compared to us monsters. No, we don't. When she died, she asked me to wait here until the day another human came to collect the seeds. A builder like you. Apparently, the people on the mainland think builders bring desolation and despair, but I don't think that's true. I think they're good. The flower seeds you're looking for are hidden behind this waterfall. Go ahead and take them. Thank you. At least this game does what RPG games and other games are supposed to do. Have treasures behind waterfalls. Awesome. Appreciated. Love when there's treasures behind waterfalls and, and stuff like that. It scratches my RPG gamer itch. You're in the water, Malroth. <laughs> You're drinking all of that waterfall water. All right, that's another set of seeds in the bag. Now we've uh, found all three and already the water. Let's say thanks to the slime and then uh, get these bad boys back to the farm. Thanks, slime. There you go, I said my thanks. Let's get out of here. Uh, catch you next, slime. That actually was actual slime talk. You're welcome. Heaven's Army is a quick learner. So I'm going to say that the, uh, this, uh, Dragon Quest Builders is probably not going to be the game I'm, I was looking for. Bring everybody in, talk to everybody. Welcome back, me handsome. I see you, you've got some, uh, Cora Lily seeds there. Now we've found all the three types of flowers. I've always knew Builders brought hope and happiness wherever they go. I thought there was this uh, despair and everything. Uh, it was like that with the original Builder, and it's the same with you. Builders don't bring desolation and despair, that's the last one it is. That was just a lie cooked up by the children of Hargon. If anyone spreads despair around here, it's them. True that. I still, uh... Still, something about the, the whole situation doesn't make sense. Why, uh, was everyone around here so eager to believe a lie like that? Uh, till the Builder came here and built the original Dia Tree, there weren't nothing on this island at all. The people didn't have no luxuries. Oh, so they did have luxuries if it's a double negative like that. That's for sure. But they lived humble, peaceful lives. But after the Dia Tree was built, the humans changed. Oh, I think I've heard the story. Everybody started fighting about who got to use the best farmland and what they should grow where. The old peace and quiet was replaced by fear and loathing. That's why the children of Hargon destroyed the Dia Tree and issued uh, their proclamation. Well, that the builder who made the Dia Tree was the being of evil who brought desolation and despair to the island. But it was humans who did that, not... not... Anyway... Why is there... Dirty water pouring in from the clean water? That's weird. Anyway, well, that's a pretty stupid way of looking at it, indeed. When the Dia Tree died, nobody uh, forced them to lose hope. It was their choice to give up. Rosie Perry, even a bearded wonder here. You all picked yourselves up. You even learned uh, to love building. Bad things are going to happen in life. Uh, that's just the way it is. But it's how you react to them that matters, right? Malroth, I... I think so, too. Come on, Evans. The tree is almost finished. Let's finish the blueprint and plant the flowers you found. It's weird that my clear water turned into not clear water. Unless that was when I threw water before, and that could have been a thing.
Why am I pouring water? <laughs> what? Her? Fantastic work, heavens. The tea tree is now literally overflowing with pure, clean water. Ah, it is truly a beautiful sight to behold. It uh, lifts the spirits and calms the soul. We've got water all over the middle of town. Oh, he heavens, uh, he as uh, your father figure, nay, your brother figure, nay, your mother figure, I am so very proud of you. <laughs> what are you? By the way, uh, there's something I want to ask you, just between you and me. Once our work here is done, may I accompany you to your island? I'd uh, be more than happy to help you grow gardens and greenery back home. I thought you were going to be the mayor here. Do not hesitate to say yes, my boy, and uh, don't leave for a field without speaking to me first, all right? Uh, but returning to the matter at hand, hurry and do what must uh, to complete the deed tree. Do not keep us waiting. Done. Water, done. A Pokemon? Uh, deed tree? Doug trio? There was a whole- there was a couple other things that said it before. They're still building things? I did that wrong. I did that wrong. I am trying to- there we go, swap. Thank you. I did that all wrong, I meant to do this. Is something not working? They, they're not getting this tree done. Oh, it's not them, it's me. I jumped the gun too quickly, everybody. I'm supposed to plant these four... ...like this. I'm glad I took a look at it, because all the other times you plant it in, in, in the middle, like that, and you plant the flowers around it. This one, this time it was different. <laughs> Heavens, now that the blocks of heartwood are in place, the blueprint's good and finished. I can hardly believe it. It wasn't long ago I was fixated on destroying everything. I, <laughs> everything I could. And now I've helped create something so wondrous. Oh, I forgot to tell my story. And I'm probably going to be right, but uh, I guess we'll know. Soon enough. Uh, it's been a long journey for all of us, but the end is within sight. The D-Tree is oh so nearly complete. It just needs one last finishing touch, Evans. Would you do the honors and plant four coral lily seeds between the blocks of heartwood? So... Oh, what? I didn't even do that! <laughs> the game did it automatically for me! Uh... Thank you, Evans. Thank you so much. The coral lilies bloomed and they smell girt lush. That's the third and final type of flower planted. Uh, does that mean uh, that our new tea tree is finished? No, we gotta make the, uh... The water of life or whatever, yes. You've finally done it. I can't tell you how long I've dreamed about this day. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Rosie. I thought uh, you'd have thrown uh, in the towel ages ago. I never give up on this, Malroth. After all, I've always dreamt of returning life to this island, or the island. And besides, didn't Pastoral tell us not to give up on our dreams? You certainly like that word, don't you? It's always dreams this, dreams that with you. Whatever the case, we got uh, there in the end, didn't we? We started with nothing, and now we've got a whole new deity. tree. I I'm supposed to make the water of life thingy too now, and that probably goes right here where I'm standing. This is gonna extend around my town. Look everyone, the flowers have given the deity tree even more power. And, like. Does anyone else feel that? The breeze is getting stronger. 
is gonna go like yeah so our entire town is definitely good now we did it the d tree is complete yes and it is blowing away the ill wind life is springing up all around us but only around this tree it's amazing to think we built something so huge out of nothing you're really something heavens we ain't done yet though something tells me that the old girl's got even more power hidden away in there then is uh then is it not time to use the water of life and make the deity stronger still yes if uh we could sprinkle the water of life on it the deity's power uh would be unleashed right but where are we going to get the leaf of life heavens uh, needs to make it we can't do anything without that here's a thought if the old builder used that leaf up uh, uh to power up the old deity then maybe the brainy baboon took it when he turned uh the tree into a spoil spore spewing stump we owe that beast a beating for what he did to pastor al and it seems we'll have no choice but to fight him and win huh is he already here what was that the whole world shook okay so my my story that i was thinking about is you see how we built this giant tree out of nothing and all the builders helped us i'm assuming each place we go to is going to have the same kind of thing and if we ever have to build a castle or something we're gonna have everybody helping us build this castle they forgot 26 stairs or was those my stairs that i didn't realize yeah uh, i think that was my stairs that i did even i made those for nothing basically um oh well i got all of these i'm gonna save them put away what's weird is that i planted these but i didn't have to plant the other ones did i glitch the game you know what i mean i feel like i glitched the game a little bit um I had to plant four of them. I planted these four, but then I took them back out, and then I, I fixed up the thing, and then I auto-planted them. Yeah, with the with the cutscene, they, they just popped out of nowhere, <laughs> so I didn't do it, so I got ten of them. Oh, well. Uh, I think we're all maxed out on strength. And I'm good to go on food now. I guess it's going to be a battle. Um... I doubt we're gonna lose, but yeah, so my, my guess is every time we go somewhere, we're gonna have to build something really big. And we're gonna have the, uh, the NPCs help us build it. That's what I think is gonna happen in this game now. Because yeah, we couldn't build anything big in the first game, not really, unless you want to dedicate hours to building it. But this took, what, 20 minutes at, at max to build this entire tree? And, uh, yeah, and they gathered all the parts for me, too, so all you had to do was just go and do the finishing touches and the little cutscenes on making the- making it in stages. But I'm assuming that's what's gonna happen as well. In the future islands. Again, I don't like how the water's pouring out of the tree and onto the land. I really thought they were just gonna have it swirling around the tree or something. I don't know if you can feel what's coming, heavens, but I can. The brainy bad boon's on his way, and he means business. <laughs> What an idiot, right? Uh, we are- well, we were going to beat him up anyway, and now we don't have to go and find him. We just have to cut through his monster minions. So, are you ready to mash some monsters? The monster mash? Brilliant. Uh, when we win, uh, we can have one big party to celebrate finishing the D-Tree and beating the baddies. But the battle commence. Once we cut one of them down, it's really easy. Yeah, once we cut one of them down, then the, the next bit of numbers are... Oh, man, I... 
Oops. I aggro so many enemies. Hit me from back there. That still hit me. Seventy three experience, I love it. We're almost level ten. Awesome. Twitch crash. The XP is great. The XP I'm gonna level up like no time. The enemy is closing in. Oh, so now it's boss battle time? Um, it looks like everything's fine on my end, and my Twitch didn't crash, Flower, so it might have been just you this time. Uh, nothing seemed to have showed up at all this time. Or at least I hope so. The time is still running, too. Um, my health is fine, everything just went back up to 100%, awesome. That's all his underlings dealt with, uh, the big boss is finally about to show himself. We can defeat him, the Leaf of Life. It he's supposedly carrying will be ours, and the children of Hargon will know their days on this island are numbered. Our homes, perhaps even the D tree, may be damaged in the fight, but so be it. Uh, they can be rebuilt. We must focus on our, our entire energies on laying that pestilent primate low. Well said, Beardy. So, Evans, are you ready to bash the brainy bad boon to bits? Uh, yeah. Good stuff, I won't let that overgrown ape get away with this. He'll pay for what he's done. Not just for Pastor Al's sake, but for everyone on this island. So let's go, Heavens. Let's clobber this massive moron and bring life and light back to Foro Field. What a crazy line that uh, bad guy said. Wow, I didn't think he had that much power. I thought I rooted out that filthy weed. Now I find you've rebuilt it, larger and more loathsome than ever? Finally, uh, something's, uh, that's really worth destroying. I'll make you taste the delicious despair that you'll never, that you'll never dare build again. Uh, is he quite done monologuing? I'd rather skip ahead, uh, to the part where we give him a good be belting. We're gonna give it a, a, a hundo P2, guys. We're not gonna let that ape anywhere uh, uh, anywhere near our Dietrich. He's officially cancelled. He may be bigger than all of us combined, but we shall not lose heart. And we shall not lose hope, Heavens. Malroth, we stand with you. Whatever that monkey throws at us. 
We'll set get you guys. All right, everyone, let's show this overgrown ape what we're made of. Okay, so be it. I'll destroy the lot of you and the deity too. All in the name of the high priest Hargon. Just trying to destroy the farm. It's not good. I keep slamming into the D tray like that. He'll smash the whole thing in no time. They can't, uh. They can't just build a wall. He'll pull straight through it. Yes, that's the problem before. We need to think of a way to stop him and quick. How are you holding up? I'm doing fine. I would love to be able to stop him. Yes, I would love to build some kind of wall or something. Ah, oh, this is uh, this is bad. This guy is so ugly. Now he's leaving these disgusting banana skins all over the place. Do I throw them in the middle of his track and let him slip on his own banana peel? It's about the only idea I have. Hold on, banana skins are slippery, right? Maybe we can use them to trip him up and stop him in his tracks. Go on, Evans, grab one with your gloves and see if it works. Nice try, monkey. Good to know we can do that, though. Good to know we can do that. Let's grab one here and put it here. Grab one here and put it over here. Right here.
Yep, that's good. And then over here. And I got it right on mark. I'm good. I thought so. I, 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 once I see it once, we got it. We're level 10 and then some. I hope we get, like... All of the experience, because we were locked out of level 10, which is max. I can't be maxed out, can I? Yeah, because it said max, but there's no way level 10's the max level. I've only done one island. Unless I reset my level every time, and that would be silly. Malroth gets stronger, I get more HP. And do I learn a new skill? You did it! I did. I'm gonna just pick this up. The Leaf of Life. We did it, Heavens. We beat the brainy baboon. By the way, what was that shiny thing you picked up back there? Babbling bat mandrels, you two. How did- how can you chatter so cheerily when our home is in such a state of disrepair? Come, people uh, of Forrowfield. Let us fix the damage right away. They just repair it all? Again, that was a- that was another thing. What's with the- what's with the you win uh, boxing bell sound? Um, that was the thing that was rough on the first game as well. Every time they attack, they destroy your entire place, basically. And it's just like, oh, um, and there was nowhere to stop the bad guys from doing it. Again, the monkey did it again, but, um, they apparently they fixed it, but not really. I see a flower seed there, which they didn't plant. But the base is, uh, restored to its former glory. Um, okay. Before we go, we gotta... Plant this flower here. I cannot see in this view. There you are. Um, Well, the baboon destroyed these flowers. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. Um... Yep. I think that worked. That worked. Okay, I actually watered them, but I don't know how long it'll take for these flowers to grow, but... Yeah, the baboon destroyed that. Uh, sewing... Okay, now I gotta go talk to her. Complete this quest. Okay, but she's gone and I'm not looking for her. There you are. I can't thank you enough for helping us uh, to defeat the brainy baboon, heavens. And just like Wrigley said, uh, if he if he had the leaf of life, how lucky he had it. Now that we found it, we can finally make the water of life. Here, take these. Three cabbages. Three sheaves of wheat. Three handfuls of sugarcane. Three tomatoes. And three pumpkins. If we... I mean, I'm pretty sure we should have got it from our own farm. That should be enough to make the purified power we need. Uh, I knew we need all of the crops to make it, so I kept these ones safely hidden away. Along with all of them on my farm. So yeah, I'm glad we didn't have to repair the whole town again either, because that really, that really did suck. Um... The rest is in your hands, Evans. Take it uh, to the workbench and squeeze them all down into a drop uh, of water of life. So, yeah, I'm liking that we're ma able to build big things. I kind of like this idea that they got going on for Dragon Quest Builders 2. And I don't have to build it all myself. The Sage, welcome back. Um, right, I, it's nice and big. I don't have to build it alone. And when they destroy the towns, because well, the bosses seem to have that ability to destroy everything, um, I don't have to repair it either. Um, so much better. 
I could build more than one. Okay. Yippee, you did it, heavens. Uh, welcome back, by the way, too. <laughs> My day is going well. As if I'm live streaming, I'm happy. That's all I could say to that. I wish I could live stream more. Uh, you made the water of life. Nice work, heavens. So that drop of water contains all the energies of four fields, five crops, imbued with the power of the leaf of life. Cabbages, wheat, sugar cane, tomatoes, pumpkins, all of that, all in that shimmery little sphere. That's right, all five of the crops that Pastor Al asked us to plant. With the flowers of the covenant uh, and the crops of Fora Field, we can finally finish the Dia Tree. You say finally, but this is going by really quickly. All we need to do now is pour the water of life on top. I've marked out the location. I know where to put it to. Uh, if you like uh, to do the honors, heavens. Absolutely. Wait. Can I swim up the, my tree? <laughs> I can, but those trees won't allow me to. Got it. There might be a one that I can swim all the ways up. Yeah, probably this one. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, let's plant you in the right spot. Yep. Oh, Zelda music. Nice. I I <laughs> I find my way. I I, would... I gotta play it my way. I I. Uh... I gotta play the game my way, or it'll just be another one of those streamers that you watch and you and you get bored. Imagine just being like them, copying them, doing nothing different. The life, life and light return to Forfield. Did all the mud get turned to real earth now? That's nice. That sounds like another song somewhere. <laughs> I don't know what it's from though. Complete. Everything turns to dirt. Oh, I like it. That water's still dirty, though. Brave young builder. By the hand, uh... By thy hand have I been born anew. To watch over for a field once more. So this is the Dia Tree talking to me now? The blessed breeze that flows from my branches shall drive away the ill wind and spread light and life throughout the land. Uh, thou hast my thanks, heavens, for that- <laughs> for all thou hast done. Why am I in her room? Is it because I built her room here and this is where I ended up? Had I had the wall would have been standing on top of it, had it one more forward? Yippee, says Rose. Oh, this is- <laughs> Why are we in her house? Look, heavens, uh, look, Forest Field is overflowing with life. Uh, it's- it's beautiful. That night, the people of Forfield hold a humble banquet beneath the boughs of the fully grown deer tree. In the water, because there's water pouring all over the place. As their thoughts turn to the struggles of their ancestors, they gaze up at the deer tree. The tears of joy rolling down their cheeks, thus adding more water to the ground. But their tears are soon dried by the soft and gentle breeze that blows uh, from the boughs above. Then morning comes. My, w my way is great, is it? Well, I hope more people find me and then let other people know how great I am. <laughs> wow, Evans, you must be tired after all the partying you did last night. I l blanked out. I had a load screen. What do you mean I partied? <laughs> I had no party here. I saw nothing. Still, after all your hard work building Deatry, I think you've earned a break. All of us worked our fingers to the bone to build her, but we couldn't have done it, uh, any of it without you, heavens. I still think that's totally wild that a dopey looking guy like you could do such crazy serious work. Talk about goals. I, I, Brittany's got that, <laughs> that language. Uh, Foro Field is back to its old self again. My dreams have finally, uh, really have come true. Have finally come true. I was reading that line. I think I'm finally starting to understand uh, these dreams you keep mentioning. 
There's something you set your sights on and never give up on, no matter what. That's what it means to have a dream, right? Well, some people just go to sleep and then have them, but yes, a uh, dream goal, yes. There you go, Bonanza got the right words. You've hit the nail on the head, Malroth, my boy. My dream is to become the mayor of this fine village, but you thought you were leaving with me! And let me tell you, I shall never give up on that. Again, everyone's standing in the water. This is so weird that- why is the water here? I'm so- Everyone's just standing in the water like it's nothing. Thank you, heavens. And she's splashing in the water. <laughs> for everything you've done for us, I'm so happy uh, to have met you and to have learned how brilliant building can be. Amazing. Wonderfully done. Great effort. Woof, woof, woof. You've made a new D tree and saved Forafield from the children of Hargon. But isn't there something you're forgetting, heavens? Breakfast? The whole reason you and Malroth came here to f <laughs> was to find people to take back to your island and help turn it into a plant lover's paradise, right? <laughs> Imagine how many people actually forgot about the first island. Yeah, you, you've been here so long you forgot the whole goal of this game. <laughs> You're right, I completely forgot. Well, Malroth is one of them. Malroth and whoever else forgot about the, the island at the beginning. Uh, completely forgotten about it. Lulu would uh, kill us if we went back empty-handed. It seems like there are quite a few people in Forfield Farm who are hoping to go with you. If I were you, I'd speak with everyone and find out who wants to take a trip to the Isle of Awakening. Oh, I gotta talk to everyone. Please come with me, I want a farm out there. Uh, heavens, uh, you've made my dreams come true. So you have the old islands covered in lo lovely greenery, as far as everyone else's eyes can see. And when word gets out that I was here to help, uh, you do it, I'll be famous. I'll be the superstar of the uh, wiggly world, I will. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. But I can't be sure as... But I can be sure to try. There you go. I hear you're looking for folk to help grow plants on the Isle of Awakening. That's why you came here, isn't it? Well, how's about I go with you and help you out? What do you reckon? Yes, please. Thank you, Evans. I can't wait to cover that whole island of yours in beautiful green grass. I guess this place can grow now. Whoever wants to stay here. I'm ready when you are. Uh, me handsome? Just say the word and I'll get uh, wriggling. Word. Go. Um, oh, do I have Brittany the fighter with me? Or how am I talking to Rosie? I thought I was talking to Brittany. Yo, fam! <laughs> we totally wasted that gross brainy baboon. I'm not- I'm not saying her voice. And look how epic the Dietrich turned out. So, what's this I hear about you going home now? Are you seriously going to build all this totally rad stuff and then just, like, bounce? It's going to be, like, totes dull around here without you. When you say I come along with you to your island, I would love to have you join me. Yes, thanks, bro. You totally won't regret this. Malroth told me all about this, uh, hairy hermit dude, and I'm super hyped to meet him. When we get there, you seriously have to introduce me. Okay, again, I feel like some of these people should- Oh, is only the farmers gonna stay here? Did you feel that wonderful breeze, Heavens? It's so cool and gentle, and it feels ever so lovely. <laughs> and we have you to thank for it. Until we built the deity, the wind never felt nice at all. The ill wind was stinky and cloying and downright horrid. You remember what we talked about before, Evans? I told you that I'd very much like to go to you, uh, to your island with you. You did say that after I built your house. I still feel the same way. So if it's not too much trouble, would you take me with you? Yes. I'm saying yes to everybody. I want everybody on my island. My island! Yes, it's gonna be my island. I shall study under you and learn all there is to learn about building. Are you gonna be the next builder in Dragon Quest Builders 3? After all, someone will need to train the next generation of Forophilian farmers. It isn't uh, just because I don't like saying goodbye, honest. Uh, okay, <laughs> the truth comes out. <laughs> Excellent work, my Mr. Heaven, sir. Mr. Heaven, sir. What is up with you, Clayton? The whole island is such a beautiful shade of green, and it's all thanks to you. When we met, I called you a heretic, and I'm ashamed that I did. I mean, you were you called me it the most, yes. You turned out to be the savior of Oro Field. 
this game is just chilling, right? <laughs> like, yeah, this game just allows you to chill and play. Uh, I've heard that uh, you're heading home to your own island, and I'd love to join you. But somebody needs to stay here and maintain this wonderful farm you built, and I've decided to be the builder this island needs and do just that. Perhaps one day, if I find the time, I might write you a letter. So don't forget me, heavens, and come back soon. Okay, so he's gonna actually stay. Okay, so not everybody joins me. Let me to thank you again. You know what? I'm kind of glad everyone pauses in the world. Yes, I'm glad everyone pauses in the world and don't walk away. I have to keep ringing the bell every time I'm done talking to people. Uh, allow me to thank you again, Evans, for your pivotal role in restoring life and light to Foro Field. Thank you and goodbye. I just, of course, this is not goodbye. We shall be returning to your island together, yes? Surely, Heaven, surely you wouldn't dare leave me behind. I didn't say anything. I have been your, uh, like a father, a brother, and a mother to you. <laughs> It would be a tragedy, uh, in triplicate. Now, uh, let me ask you, just to be sure, you will be taking me to your island with you, won't you? No. I, how many people said no? <laughs> of course, my boy, of course. I, I don't know why I even asked. I can't wait to get settled on your island. I'm so excited to start building, I can hardly stand still. Hey! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but if you were to assign me to some sort of uh, mayoral role, that would be all the more ideal. Okay. Hello, Heavens. Thanks for helping bring life back to the island. He might actually stay. Boro feels looking girt lush again, and we couldn't have done it without you. By the way, is it true that I've... what I've been hearing? That you two are heading home to your own island soon? I don't want to say goodbye just yet. I want to keep building with you and learn all the tricks of the trade. I ain't going to stop you leaving, but do you think I might be able to come with you and help you build things back on your island? Yeah, why not? Okay, yes. Wow, old jokes from a long time ago, the sage? Ah, uh, yes, you, me, and Malroth are going to make the- make- make a great team. They'll call us the Foro Field Farming 3. I don't think- no, they won't. Yeah, I don't think so either. You can call yourself that. If anyone does, they'll have the me to deal with. I didn't mean it. I was just getting a little carried away. Don't hurt me. Don't worry, Perry. I won't hurt you. After all, we're going to need people like you to do all the work. <laughs> wow, yeah, we need you to do- <laughs> No problem. Uh, if you uh, got uh, a job that needs doing, I'm your man. Consider it my way of paying you back for all the time, all the hard work you two did here. Speaking of which, Heavens, you'll be uh, welcome back here anytime. Just hop on the same boat you sailed on and you'll be welcomed with open arms. So don't go smashing everything up to take back with you. In fact, you've done such a fine job on the farm. I'd rather you didn't smash it, uh, it up at all. Yes, yeah, so I won't- I won't do that. There's a lot of jobs on offer then? What's Flowers talking about? <laughs> Truth is, I thought you might need some materials to take back with you, so I've been saving them up for this very occasion. I'll show you everything I've got when we get there. Awesome. Oh, the dog. Yes, let the dog come back with me. <laughs> oh, you want to come to the island too? You really, really do? What's her problem? She looks so sad. Let's leave her be, Heavens. These puppy dog eyes are really bumming me out. What? I can't take the dog with me? One out of ten game. This is my least favorite game of the year. Change- I changed my mind. This game is now my least favorite. Uh, thank you once again, Heavens. You didn't just bring life to our home, you brought peace to it, too. Is it true that you and Malroth will be returning to your own island soon? I would very much like to go with you, but there's simply too much that I want to do here. Long ago, Forfield's bounteous sweet harvest was- uh, was used- was used to make bread that was famous the world over. That's why I've decided to start my very own bakery. 
but I will make sure to write you a letter at the very first opportunity. Oh, and do look after my dear sister, won't you? Have She's actually staying? What? I really thought the dog was gonna come with me? Oh. Why are all of these flowers here? Did my gl game glitch? I didn't plant flowers, everybody. This was wheat and cabbage only. How did I glitch this game so bad? I don't know what I did, but you know what? Good job, me. I did it again. It's hard to keep up with the jokes the younger generation. I I try not to say them too, because they're all they're all gonna last like a week or a month long. And then they're gonna be old again. So I try my best not to say them. Because yeah, it's it's a meme for a day and then it's gone the next. So I, I try to keep that on the down low. And if you can keep up, good on you. You know what I mean? If you if you can keep up with it, great. Have you spoken with everyone, Heavens? I know that it can be hard to say goodbye, but uh, that's part of making new friends sooner or later. You'll go your separate ways. But you can't let that stop you moving forward. I really wish we'd have to have this conversation in this water pool. I'd love to go with you too, but I can't. I have to stay here in Forefield and help out on the farm. What? But I thought... I jest, I jest. Okay, wow, I really thought she was... Sorry. I know it's not very funny, but Pastor Al taught me that joke. And I've always wanted to try it out, of course. I'll go with you. Don't take after Pastor L. That's not the jokes we need. As <laughs> the most recent thing is brain rot? That's been happening for, for years. For decades, even. Uh, Forfield has the Deity to look after it now. And the children of Hargon won't be causing any more trouble here either. Really? The island's a plant lover's paradise again. That's why I want to go with you to your island. I want to do more building to make bigger and b better things. Or turn the island of awakening to a plant lover's paradise too. He froze in midair. That's talent. Well, we said our goodbyes to everyone, and everyone's ready to go. But we still need to wait for Brownbeard to get back. That guy's really is hopeless. He says he'll be our personal ferryman, but he sails away as soon as we arrive. Where did he even go? Mr. Evans? Sir? Mr. Evans? There's a boat at the docks with a strange fellow in a turban at the helm. Says he came here to pick you up. Oh, that must be your famous ferryman, Heavens, Sir Brownbeard. He certainly got a good sense of timing. Come on, everyone, so let's hurry to the docks. His timing is impeccable, everybody. I'm gonna just whack the spell one more time. Ah, there was some of that. Nobody, no, it wasn't me. Somebody else rang the bell. I'm gonna take some food with me. Uh, this. And that. I want to see what they dropped off in the treasure chests. Oops, I jumped a little too soon. Dude, that's awesome. Oh, I jumped in the air so I couldn't- I jumped in the air so I couldn't use my inventory! Okay, that's weird that if I take things out of the- out of the treasure chest, it goes in my items, and not into my item bag. Cool. Alright, well, we got flowers here, everybody. And when I attack them, it just disappears! Oh, um... Hey, yeah. I can get infinite milk blossom seeds because the game glitched. Awesome. I have the power to do whatever I want to do in this game. Alright, cool. They hype up all- 
the, the weird things. You know what? I'm not gonna. <laughs> I only join in when it's cool. Yeah. I'll go with that. I'm max. I'm level 10 as max. Unless we go to each island and we get 10 levels each time. I maxed out my level, everybody. Actually, not everything is fixed, but... Thanks, game. I want to just attack this. I can't break this. This is suspicious. I feel like there's something there, but I can't break it, so... It lives another day, unlike a James Bond movie and game. I run so fast. All right. Ahoy there, heavens. Ahoy there, Malroth. I was just about to head out to sea to look for you. And who are these fellow sand scrubbers of yours? Are these the folks you cheated into taking back to the island? Well, it's a fine guess. It's a fine... <laughs> well, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, it is. Whatever they do, it's just... It, listen, it's here and it's gone. Uh, that's what I... That's what I think about memes now. It's here and it's gone and... If there's funny ones, great. We'll enjoy it when it lasts for a day and then... If there's bad ones, we just ignore them. Uh... <laughs> yes, uh, we are. Thank you for taking us, Captain. Yar, heavens. Uh... Me livery. Uh, you've gathered up quite a crew. Lulu's sure to kick up a gale if we don't get back soon. So let's all climb aboard, Yar. Oh, is Dog coming with me? Is this game actually gonna be a 10 out of 10 game? Heavens, Malroth, Rosie, are you all leaving already? Yes. They've come to see you off. Well, if the dog doesn't come with me, it's back to one out of, one out of ten. I know that I've said this before, Heavens, but thank you again for everything you've done for us. We can handle everything here on the island from now on. Well, we shall keep building with all our strength. We fully intend to surpass even the legendary Heavens one day. Oh, wow. Now, Lillian, remember to do as Heavens and Malroth say. Don't expect them to wait on you hand and foot. What in the world are you implying, sister? It is I who, sh who shall be looking after them! Hey! <laughs> the hey is from, like, Fable, isn't it? Uh, we are all extremely excited to see your island. It's gonna look terrible compared to this island. Farewell, everyone. Uh, you all must come back to visit one day. Take care. Will we visit for main story, or are we never going to visit again? Friend of Floro Field. I just got a trophy. All aboard for a trip of abo abroad. My goodness, you added an error there and I threw my brain for a loop. Uh, time to set sail. I mean, if you look at them like this, they're all twins. But if you look at their faces, they are different. Oh, my ghost friend is seeing me off. Why did you come with me? Why are we titanicking? Oh, never mind. They fixed them. She ran in front of me and I was titanicking, basically. And then they, they moved her in the right spots. But the dog didn't come with me, one out of ten. Least favorite game of the year now. And so Heaven's adventure on Forofield come to an end. Travel back home without his best friend, the dog. He and Malroth sail. And if you think Malroth is my best friend, you're wrong. Uh... <laughs> He and Melroth, not his best friend, sail with their new friends back to the Island of Awakening, where Lulu eagerly awaits their return. Does she? Or is she angry at us for taking so long? I'm not too sure what's going to happen with Lulu. I was told that if you, sub if you subscribe to Heaven's Army, you will never have to deal with ads ever again. Evans retrieved the stuff from the storage sack. Evans Melra, I wanted to fix this dock, by the way. Welcome back. I was starting to worry you never you might never return. Well, did you accomplish what you set to do? Uh, did you find all the plants and people we need to turn Lulutopia, uh, <laughs> it's, it's not what it's called, into a green and pleasant land? 
This ragtag rebel you dragged along with you wouldn't be our new citizens, would they? Wow, Lulu. Hello, you must be Lulu. My name's Rosie. We heard all about you on the boat right over from Foro Field. And yes, we are, we're here to help. Uh, uh, so this is the famous Isle of Awakening, is it? I'm very happy to be here. I ain't never been off Foro Field before. Welcome back. I'm, yeah. So my, my thing is I sadly have to run ads. But if you don't want to watch them, you can subscribe and I think the ads go away. As what I was told. <laughs> I, I can't subscribe to myself, sadly. I, unless I am, and I, I don't see any ads. How did you manage without us, Lulu? Uh, that Skelly... Skelly Winkle stealing screwball didn't try anything funny again, did he? Not at all. Are you talking about the... the sa uh, the... the hermit? Not at all. In fact, we got along like a house on fire. How is that getting along? That funny old fella told me everything there is to know about this island. You speak of uh, a far-famed hairy hermit, yes? Uh, you must introduce us post-haste. Uh, the meeting of our island's masters uh, can brook no delay. Maybe you should uh, comb that beard first. You look like a bush that's been dragged through another bush backwards. Oh my goodness, his beard! <laughs> uh, Evans, uh, just, uh, I just remembered something that completely uh, slipped me not. Uh, this is a post box. Oh, I'm glad you put it there. Not on the floating spot where it's supposed to be. Yeah. I, I'm going to fix this now. I just didn't have any resources before. Now I can actually do this. Uh, now your mates on Foro Field can send you letters by sea snail mail. Uh, semaphore can't hold a f uh, flag to that. Oh, how wonderful. Uh, Safi will be able to keep me informed with all the comings and goings back home. I'll give you a shout whenever a letter arrives. You'll uh, have to come and collect them, though. I get land sick if I stray too far from my ship. Okay, you walk on land and you get sick, not, not, not seasick, you get land sick. The Alva Wiccan has, gets his very own post box. Now then, heavens, take me to this mountaintop temple where the hairy hermit resides. If no one uh, will introduce me, I shall introduce myself. Okay, I want, um... I want to fix this first. I have, like, a bunch of... I don't know what I want to use. Got rid of all of the ugly boards. Thanks, game. Oh, we do not have enough beds on this island for all of you. I can, he just gotta get out of that spot. Okay, we almost got our docks made again. Ah, take that, Melroth. All right, cool. Um, oh wait, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. I'll jump up a Malrod's head. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. The boat goes right there. Um, I wish she would get out of there, though, so I could fix that. All right, I should eat this. Oh, hey, these were here before. Wait, so... Are you friendly? 
I think I could have spoke to it. Are you friendly? Can I talk to you? Was I able to talk to the slime? Oops. I, I knew that. Oh, I used to... Oh, okay. We really got to get this place going. A basic bedroom. Um... All oh, right, these were the treasure chests that I took, the columns, the stuff that I took, okay. Um, this is, um... Uh, yeah, I, we can't live in this crappy seaside slanty shack, can we? <laughs> oh, I know you're not complaining. What you said never sounded like a complaint at all. But yeah, just I let people know if you don't want to see ads, because I don't think anybody likes ads, neither, neither do I really. You can get rid of them if you wish. If you don't mind watching the ads, I, I, then I won't stop you. <laughs> uh, I've taken some of the lights, didn't I? I guess there's going to be no monsters on this island, other than the things like by the... Oh, can I break this now? Still no? Okay, there's something obviously in there, so... Eventually we'll be able to get in there. It's all red, too, which is auspicious. Or would it be suspicious? And probably I'll ask a really important question and you'll be stuck in an ad. <laughs> that, that's what's gonna happen, right? I'm surprised it didn't break all these stairs down. Whoa, are you more glow glowy than you normally are? No, I guess he was always glowy. You're back, heavens, and you brought some new friends with you. That's cracking. That is very good, yes. Yeah. It's an honor to meet you, Mr. Hermit. We've uh, come all the way for Fora Field. Heavens uh, said we could live here. So here we are. Yeah. We're looking forward to helping him make this place into a proper paradise. <laughs> it's smashing to have you here, young lady. Welcome to the Isle of Awakening. Well, Heavens, uh, hadn't you better knock a few houses together uh, for our new residents? Nah, mate, I'm here too. Like, <laughs> I came here to, like, build stuff. There you go. Uh, not to, not to, not get stuff built for me, yeah? Uh, we were all talking about it on the boat, and now I am totally soaked to get started. Are they actually going to build their own houses? Because that'd be cool if they built their own town. I wouldn't care as long as it's organized and neat. Too right, we was cooped up in that ship for ages, and now we're here. We'll be, uh... Uh, we'll be crazy if we're, ain't, we're not gonna, if we're ain't, if we are not going, going to make nothing. I, why are you talking in double negative so much? Ah, uh, what? You're telling me that you're all builders? Well, that's a bombshell. Uh, long have I lived uh, of the day a, a bevy of builders would set foot on this island soil. Speaking of which, the soil of yours is in a terrible state. We'll have to get, uh, that sort of, uh, before any proper building can begin. That's a splendid suggestion, Wrigley. Uh, it's... As soon as we have some lovely healthy soil, we can start growing our crops, indeed. I know a banging place to do that. The Green Gardens. It's not green yet. You'll just have to head northeast until you bump into a stone tablet. Let's go. A new destination has been added. Let's go, indeed. The quickest way to get there is to hop off this this cliff. <laughs> Supposedly, you have a. They can use your windbreakers. They all. We all have windbreakers to ride the breeze all the way down. We all have windbreakers. I nearly forgot the most important thing. The real reason you rocked up, rocked up here to see me. You've brought me some mini medals, haven't you? I do have some of those mini medals. And, uh, and you'll be wanting to trade them for treasure? Yes. Whenever you got a nice little collection, go and just come and find me. Then hit the triangle, uh, so we can do a swap. You have, uh, the mini medals, uh, have the mini medals tickled your fancy. Good to know we share a common interest. You see, I'm... Uh, 
I'm rather an avid collector of mini medals. I'll even swap them for my treasures. Unless I'm mistaking, that's the unmistakable whiff of the mini medals. Let's see now. I only have four, right? You've got four mini medals there. I see, I'll take them, uh, if you don't mind. For hitting one medal, I'll give you a pair of geeky specs. <laughs> Am I gonna have glasses? I lost my glasses. Uh, for reaching four mini medals, I'll teach you to make player liars. liars. Wait, I can play music? For hitting the four medals, I'll give you a copy of Bustling Streets. Bustling Streets music. <laughs> what? I was like, can I make my own streets? That'd be cool. No, it's music. As things stand, you've brought me a total of four mini medals. Make that ten and I'll give you a, a bowl. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit more fancier than that. I learned a new recipe. Player layer. Uh, an eccentric instrument that brings back memories of a bygone age. I can't bring it with me and play music? Not as good as LEGO Worlds, everybody. This game is still lacking those few extra touches. And yes, having musical instruments that you can just play around for fun? Why not? Well, young builder, how does it feel to pocket your very first accessory? If you want to put it on, just use the dressing table and you could and you can chop and change your appearance however you like at a dressing table. If you know the recipe, go ahead and uh, bang one together. If not, I seem to recall one knocking about uh, in the green garden somewhere. Okay, I could dress up with my glasses, but in the, their accessories as well, I can have glasses, but I want to have music that I can just play. Lego Worlds was the hilarious, funnest thing ever. Just whipping an electric guitar and start playing. <laughs> it was awesome. And we all have our own things now. If I hit, I, I don't think. Oh, look at the look at the formation we've got. Let's let's break it a little bit. Someone's a little out of formation. Of course, it's Brittany. She would be out of formation. <laughs> look, 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 look. There you go. We all teleport right here. The worm doesn't have its own thing. That's that's uh, anti-wormism. Uh, is this the stone tablet uh, old Whitebeard told us about? We got Whitebeard, Brownbeard, and Scruffy Beard. Yeah, that's his name. Indeed it is, Malroth, my boy. This tablet uh, was knocked together by the last builder who lived here. A mysterious and magical creation. It reacts to the innermost thoughts of the island's master. When an idea materializes in their mind, it'll be etched into the stone itself. So it's you, you, got, you got an empty brain because there's nothing on there. That means you, heavens. Uh, you must consider the needs of the island and its inhabitants and what you must build to fulfill those needs. Once you have decided your goals, it's time for the tablet to work its magic and set it all in stone, literally. My character, I don't know if my character's smart enough for this, is he? Let's see, what do we need? Well, that pink squirmy thing said the soil here was in a bad way, so that seems like an important thing to fix. We need a lot more trees and stuff. And I don't mean to grow crops or farm animals or anything so practical like that. What this island needs is nature. You want us to build nature? Images of a country village nestled between a lush forest and a sparkling stream swirl around heaven's mind. Oh, my brain, my character does have ideas. Make a river, make a meadow, and make a forest. Building a builder's paradise will require a lot of wood. Work with Wiggly to build a forest that will satisfy your hunger for lumber. An arid wasteland stretches out before you, as if it was a big beautiful meadow instead. What a wonderful sight it would be. The, the ground around the tablet is 
cracked and dry. It would be better if it was wetter. So build a raging river. Okay. You want to make a river, a meadow, and a forest? You're nothing if not ambitious, my boy. I feel like that is pretty ambitious. When I said the island needs nature, I didn't exactly expect you to make it. This is a rather, rather a big undertaking uh, than searing a scallywinkle, you know? I never thought of creating a landscape from scratch before. Yeah, I, I feel like we're taking different ideas here. Before we just build rooms for people. Now we're actually building a tr we built a tree, right? So now we're building the landscape around us as well. That's cool. Yeah, no, I, I like the idea. I like the creativeness that, that this game has taken. But now that you mention it, I think you and Lulu could really be on to something. And who better to green it up than us farmers? I have never been more... never been prouder to say that I'm a Forfieldian born and bred. Yeah, man. Uh, hey, heavens. Well, we're busy printing this place up. How about you build us uh, those new cribs your hermit mate promised us? A most excellent idea. What better way to put all the items we brought with us to good use? A chest jam packed with the awesomest things Forfield has to offer. It's all, like, useful as. <laughs> Gosh, these new friends of yours are certainly raring to go. Did something happen on Forfield that I should know about? Uh... <laughs> we don't say words, we just laugh. Well, whatever the reason, I think their passion for building <laughs> might be rubbing off on me. Perhaps I'll uh, even join in the building work myself. <laughs> Let the building begin. What is this, a race? You want to build a river, don't you? Well, it just so happens that I know a, the perfect place. You see, while you and Melroth were off adventuring, I was out exploring every day. You were actually doing something? I actually got to know the lay of the land here rather well. Well then, let our resident explorer Lulu uh, guide you to the site of this river to be. As you head out to the great unknown, do not fear. Did you lose your bearings, uh, you can warp straight back to this tablet. Okay, so our tablets are our warps. I'll be up at the temple watching your hard- <laughs> watching you hard at work. Come uh, and find me when you're finished. So I'll have all of this stuff in here. Come along then, let's go to the- uh, and get this river running. You see those highlands over there, heavens? Hmm. Mm. I think that would be the perfect spot for the source of our river. Oh, I do see it. It'll pour down like a waterfall. Okay. We're looking at the front of the waterfall. It's it's where the darker rocks rocks are. That's where the water will start falling down. Yeah, it's like this. I, I think that shit might be it. A river in the highlands. Pa, are you mad? Rivers are supposed, uh, supposed to wind... Wind, not wind. Wind and wind are the same looking words in English. Uh, wine through valleys, not ride on top of hills. Everybody knows that. Beard man. Scruffy beard. Hold on, Bonanzo. It sounds like Lulu has a plan. Let's head up there and see what we can see. The last one, there's a rotten egg. That's probably gonna be me. Where did these people get their energy? Well then, this way, I'm gonna just go here and grab a hundred of wood. Wow. That's cute that I can't just put you in where you belong. Actually, I might... St I want to store that. I don't really have any food cooked, don't I? Okay, cool. Nice and organized. I put 14 away and, ugh. Am I, did I do that? I did that completely wrong. No, I did it right. I, th I just only saw one. I only saw one. Okay, my, we're all good. What is this? Up. Up what? 
Crafting station has upgraded. Well, <laughs> Heavens remembers all the recipes he learned on Foro Field. Oh. I just, that was random. So you've upgraded your builder's workstation. I was not prepared for that. Uh, have you? I have, by accident. The workbench is a little different from the other crafting stations you've been used before. Yes, it is! <laughs> That's why I was so confused. I was like, what happened? It's imbued with building spirit. You just have to pay your respects to the builders of yore by spending a few gratitude points and you can unlock new recipes. Use this workbench well, and this place will be a builder's paradise in no time. Not that bad. Uh, thanks, I, I meant to do that. To make it easier to find what you want uh, in the crafting station on the Isle of Awakening, recipes are divided into a number of different categories. Cool, I'm glad that we're getting attacked. Worn out workbench, a wooden workbench, and a builder's workbench. Why are you fighting me? Why do you do this? Okay, where was I at? Doorways. And walls and, and chimneys as well, okay. We can make a fruity parfait? Oh, I want one of those now. I kind of want to make this immediately. Pixelated protagonist? Prince? Princess and legendary line art? A stunningly lifelike painting depicting a party of legendary heroes? What? Is that a luxurious? Yeah, a, a rustic bread, not a luxurious one. Okay. Fire. There's my stove that I want. That doesn't work. I want the stove, yes. Wait, I could spend 20 points and get it? Oh, I gotta unlock it with hearts? Oh, that's... I'm so glad I caught that. Okay. A pet bowl. Maybe we can have our own doggy again. All of the signs that we need to make. Arm, framed foliage, wall hanging, weapons, okay. A villager's vestment. Oh, where there's weaponry, I see. Cool, I'm glad I took a look at that, just to see what's happening. And one shot. Heavens above, monsters. Oh, is the water gonna go all the way from over to there to there as well? Why was there water coming from this rock? There's some- there's a monster in the rock. There was a monster in that rock! I knew there was something water coming from the rock! That this game is getting wackier and wackier every second. It's getting crazier, everybody. Bum 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 bum. This nice music. This is an arid dry land. What am I gonna do with my maxed out level? So Malroth was the last one here, so he used the rotten egg? Good. 
Well, what do you make of the view, Heaven? So I see that the water's gonna go right down to there and go all the way over there, that's brilliant. And I have enough wa pure water already, I could just immediately do this, yes? Well, what do you make of the view? It's beautiful. You see how the ground uh, down below is a different color? I believe that's an old riverbed. We could create some kind of water source at the top of this cliff. Uh, we'd soon have the whole thing filled with water again. Hang on a minute, Lulu. This is a giant big river you're after, isn't it? Evans is a builder, not a miracle worker. Well, I for one think it's a wonderful idea. This goes far beyond uh, making tasty recipes or beautiful buildings. Uh, you would have us remake the landscape itself. Yeah, I think this is a pretty cool idea. Do I have to put some rocks over there, though, to stop the water from going that way? This is one thing I haven't figured out. How in the world are we going to get a river's worth of water up here? Lulu does have some grand ideas. Uh, I think the two of us could really get along. Yeah, I think so, too. She seems a bit worried about how to get all that water up here, but I know you've got just the solution. Yes, I do. That bottomless pot of yours should still be full of fresh four field water. You just have to tip it over and pour it out. That's a song, isn't it? It is a song. Uh, when it runs over the edge, it'll fill the whole riverbed. The whole riverbed, you say? I wonder if it'll flow all the way down here. Well, there's only one way to find out. Actually, I'm not blocking that off. Go on, Heaven, slosh uh, some water on that uh, on, a, on the top of this cliff. See what happens. Let's make sure it's nice, clean water, not dirty water. We don't want another forer field on our hands. I was trying to, but talking and swapping out the thingy is the same buttons. What in the world I just happened? I've never seen so much water pour out of a pot. Look at that, the water is flowing right over the cliff and all the way down to the bottom. Is it? I didn't get enough water, but... I wanted to pour more water, but I stopped early because I wasn't sure. It's a beautiful waterfall we're making. Nature! Yeah, but we gotta go more, right? Goodness me! There's water everywhere! I'm soaked through to my small clothes! But I don't care one jot. I did it right. You just gotta really hold it. Don't be shy. You've got the water flowing, heavens. Uh, we have the source for our river now. But this is just the start. The magic pot of yours has really saved the day. I mean, this is... I do like this. This kind of reminded me a little bit of Nino Kuni, so I do like it a lot, actually. I like being able to change things in the world. Um, with an exceedingly useful tool like that at our disposal, we'll have this river up and running in no time. We have to... all we have to do now is fill up the rest of the riverbed. I'm going to inspect the bottom of the waterfall. Everyone, follow me. You're gonna go that way? You just jumped off a sheer cliff face. He's hopping mad, that one? But I think I'd like to... Uh, hold up, Lulu. I'm right behind you! Yeah, we're gonna, I was gonna jump down there as well. I thought they were all gonna run down there. I was about to jump as well. Did that not hurt? Good. Better late than never. This river isn't going to make itself, you know. We need to fill this whole river bed with water. The building begins again, huh? I'll sit this one out. The building stuff isn't exactly my strong suit. <laughs> You lot got work uh, on the rivers and meadows and woods and what have you. I'll stay on the lookout for monsters. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. It isn't just a, a river we're after. We gotta get our greenery game going too. We'll need Wrigley's help to purify the soil. Uh, say, Brittany, uh, why don't we three have a 
the river building to the others. We leave, we leave? Why don't we, we three leave the river building to the others and take care of the fields and forests? <laughs> Very well. You can handle the replanting. Rosy Perry Weirdy Beardy and I will take charge of the river. Fine by me. I must admit, I'm uh, more than a little excited to be building scenery from scratch. You're part of the Team River too, Heavens. Uh, we'll show you where we want to pour the water. And be sure to fill every nook and cranny now. Uh, none of us will mind getting our feet wet, so pour away. actually built yourselves a river. Not bad. I guess I'm gonna fill up some more over there and call it good. Not bad at all. Very good. In fact, we'll have uh, these bleak and blasted plains transformed into a pastoral paradise in no time. While you two were away, I spent a great deal of time making plans for Lulatopia, right down to the minutest for of details. I came to the conclusion uh, that a whole host of wonderful water features was just uh, what my subjects would wish for. What do you mean, your subjects? We're building the empire of <laughs> evisceration here, remember? Hmm. Maybe if you ask heavens nicely, he'll set aside some space for you in my kingdom. The dungeon. Ooh. Those two get along so well. Simmer down, younglings. I'm the eldest here, so I get to decide what we do. We found... Bonanza land. Uh, what, really? Uh, now there's nothing for you to fight about. Ooh, fuzz face. Uh, this is between me and her. Okay, let's just pour a little bit more water here. There we go. Now the river is full. You made us a wonderful picturesque river, heavens. When it comes to making nature, you're a natural. Speaking of which, uh, where did you come across that unusual pot? From a monster. A gentleman called Pastor Owl gave it to you. I would like to have met him. He sounds like a thoroughly nice, fe fine fellow. You shall have to tell me all about your adventures on Forefield as soon as things calm down a little. But that shall have to wait for the time being. Uh, our work is far from finished. This river isn't nearly long enough to satisfy my standards. Next on the agenda is extending its reach by means of the Grand Lulatopian Canal. Seems it's a letter waiting for heavens. <laughs> There's a letter? It's time to begin the construction of the Grand Lulatopian Canal. We'll need to extend the river even further. Uh, if we're to turn my vision into a reality. But the river bit only goes this far. How are we supposed to make the river longer? Actually, it looks like this river used to be longer. It's just been blocked by a bunch of soil and sand. Should be easy enough to smash through that soft stuff and open it up again. You're right. Well spotted, Malroth. I just so happens that I brought something from Forfield to just for just such an occasion. This chest is filled with the sturdiest of construction materials. We can use them to shore up our banks as we clear a path for the river. You can leave the digging to us. Heavens, uh, why don't you and Wrigley get started on reunifying things up around here? I'm curious about what's in this treasure chest. Is work on the river going swimmingly? I is it? Uh, While well, the others are busy with that, huh? you and me can do something about this here stony soil. Hey, you guys. 
I uh, thought you'd leave the rest of the green gang crew out uh, of the decision making, did you? Don't think so, mate. Brittany and I rustled up a few helpful items to ensure the whole meadow making process runs smoothly. Wow, just like that, they have three worm food? I thought I was, uh, gonna straight vom when I stuck my hands in the pot to get the ingredients for those things. Seriously, though, it was well nasty. Worm food, my favorite snack. Plonk one of them lovely lumps on the ground and I'll gobble it up and turn uh, the hard sand around into soft soil while I'm at it. Me and uh, Lil will show you where to put them. Come on, squad, let's roll. Right here? Okay. That's an interesting spot for it. So while they're doing that... Are they going to dig right through this? the isn't there a dung eater in the uh, uh, dark souls e games <laughs> oh gee it's gorgeous uh, it's very weird that it looks like this seriously like totally sick field work heavens um it doesn't look at all like i was imagining not that I can recall. There is. Uh, <laughs> I've played all the Dark Souls. There, there's, there's definitely somebody like that in that series. Quite a few times, actually, in a few games. Oh yes, everything looks so much nicer now. Just imagine uh, how much lovelier it would look when the whole riverside is uh, draped in greenery. Let's leave that up to heavens, yeah? This uh, is his island anyway. His metal-making sensibilities are off the hook. You want to make ten tiles of metal for starters, right? This place is going to look so sick when you're done. Oh, and if you're out of Wormwood, just uh, make some more, like duh. Um... I'll legit defend this grass from danger. Okay, um... I don't, like, ten random places of that? Is that going to be enough? Alright, well, while they're doing that, I need to go to a workbench. They gave me all these materials. Can I run an attack and you do more damage, or did I just run an attack randomly and it was... Oh. Oops, I'm actually hungry. Make a river, make a meadow, make a forest.
Yeah, the worm is a worm. <laughs> I, 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 I can't deny what it is. It's just a worm. Tree parkour? Oh. Okay, it seems like that's not a real part of the tree, though. Okay. Oh. I want to stand right here, do I? can't see where the line is. One... Now you're there. Now you're there. Uh... Job done? Oh, wait, what? I thought I had to plant ten of them. Wonderful work. We're going to turn all that dry, cracked soil into a marvelous meadow. This looks not at all like I imagined it was going to turn out. I thought I'd just be able to just drop it and it would all of this would be green, but okay. Dude, this place is straight banging now. <laughs> Get a load of all that grass. Yeah, all this greenery. Huh? This place is starting to look more like a, a more and more like Flora Field. That's a small sample of what is to come. Yeah, I, I hope we're not building all of this. I don't want to make Minecraft. I want to I want to play it. Uh, that's the idea. I'll look even lovelier once we give the whole riverbank a green treatment. Oh, and don't forget the, that patch over there and that bit there. <laughs> You're always thinking a few steps ahead, aren't you? Maybe I'll make you my Imperial Gardener in Chief. What about me? After all the mud I've munched for you, I... If I don't get that job, I'll be greener than all this grass put together. Yeah. Aha! Jokes! Like a- make a meadow. Complete. Oh, the hammer shows up. You tick that one, uh, one of the tablet targets off the list. I see. Congratulations. For every objective- object you complete, a mini metal will, uh, come into being. Once you collected a few, bring them to me. I'll swap them for some of my most prized possessions. I'm mad for many medals, me. Well, would you look at that? It's a, uh, it's a mini medal. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. Uh, toodle pip, toodle pip for now. <laughs> that is, that is a way to say goodbye. It is. That is a way to say goodbye. Make a meadow. I thought I turned uh, all of the other stuff. Did I lose it? Probably. Alright, I'm talking to you. Yeah, I thought we were going to finish all the greenery, but... I, I made ten. I guess I made three and I didn't need... I don't know. I made three... Math isn't working out, I don't think. I don't know. I know. Or maybe I don't know the number. Anyway, I got a bunch of these and I don't need them. Store forever. We got five of them permanently now. Okay. There you are. Uh, there... There are some fine fields. And it's all things... So... The way you place the, that worm food, Evans. I've never done it without you. Yes, thank you so much, Evans. Everything's so much uh, nicer now that we have some green, green grass to roll around in, and and loads of arid dirt. We can crack on with the forest next. 
uh, when we get uh, a break from the old river building, give me a shout. I need to build the forest. I just need to plant five trees. Evans? <laughs> Check it out. We dug out the canal so the river could continue a bit further. When I was uh, swinging a hammer to and fro, I felt like I'd become a builder myself. It was uh, ever so invigorating. The canal is complete. Our waterway grows ever longer. Now we can build ourselves a glorious river fitting of uh, <laughs> Bonanza land. Oh! You folk are... Well, you, the folk you ferried from the Foro Field certainly aren't afraid to get their hands dirty. We never have created this canal without them. I am for one try to keep my hands positively filthy. <laughs> if I, and I learned it all from heavens. What? I wash your hands! You're exactly the kind of people we need in Lulatopia. A few more subjects like you will make my kingdom uh, the envy of all my neighbors. Can I be your agriculture minister? I'll grow enough fresh fruit and vegetables to make everyone everyone's bellies burst. How many times do we have to go through this, Lulu? This is the empire of evisceration. If you want something uh, to eat, you should go uh, head back down to the beach and, and suck on seaweed. Why are you so mean? I can't tell if uh, them two are friends or enemies. It's like they love uh, to hate each other, yeah. Let's put our differences aside for the time being. We need to make some more nature. We all have to work together if we want to turn this place into a pastoral paradise. I'm assuming if I get this done, everything just gets fixed immediately. Well, are you ready to continue work on the river? Yeah, I was about to do it, then I realized I gotta talk. I want to make it into the biggest, bestest waterway ever. We'll show you where the water needs pouring, just like we did before. Feel free to slosh it around us uh, with that bottomless pot of yours. Wet britches have never bothered me. Positions, everyone! Sloppy slurry on a stick, the water's gone all dirty. How would that happen? Well, that's just, uh, great. Look at this dirty water, heavens. It seems we got some spoiled soil to thank for this. The stuff nearly ruined us back on Forofield, and it's. and now it's only gone and showed up here, too. Unless we get rid of that spoiled soil, the water. Won't, uh, ever get clean. Can you do me a big fat favor? Can you use that bottomless pot to scoop up the muddy water? Might, uh, might be our only hope. That's marvelous. The part of yours uh, really is something else. Now that the muddy water's out of the way, we can get back to finishing our river. Thanks. Thanks for clearing uh, away that horrible muddy water. I suppose it ain't horrible if you like muddy water, but uh, uh, if it's clean water you need, the dirty stuff will dirty the clean stuff, and then you'll be stuffed. Okay, thanks for that. You've done a good job scooping up all the old muddy water. As long as that spoiled soil is still here, the, our river's lower reaches will stay soily forever. I can barely bear to look at the stuff. All the trouble it gave us back on Forofield. We need to get that 
Grody Grot gone. Face heavens, you gotta help. Use your hammer and smash the nasty muck into a kingdom come. Get him. You cleared away all that slimy spoiled soil. It is a weight off my shoulders, so it is. Amazing. Thanks for dredging out that dirty old soil. Heavens now we can carry on making our river. Of the if the worst should happen and the water goes all muddy again, just scoop it up with that bottomless pot of yours. The pot should be full of dirty water now, so don't go pouring it out again or we'll be back to square one. Just fill up your pot with the, some clean water in the job. Yes, thank you for telling me the obvious. I, I appreciate the game in case if you forgot. Might have asked a question? You're looking uh, thin lately. Are you eating properly? I mean, all I got is bread, so yes. Uh, I am famished myself. I don't uh, tell this to no one. But I'm sick of vegetables. So I want to eat something different. But enough talking. If Lulu saw me slacking off, she'd go... She'd go spare? Uh, we got work to do. Dinner can wait, uh, till we're done with this river. Okay, I'm glad that game has to tell you everything all the time, like... I wanna- I wanna scoop up the good water. There we go. Jolly good showing heavens, at this rate our river will be the envy of the neighbors, whoever whoever they may be. We're not done yet. Okay, that looks like it's full now. Yes, the river looks so much bigger and better now. Impressive work, heavens and everyone. Indeed, and yet it the end seems somewhat abrupt. Could it not be bigger and better still? Well, but we clear some more of this dirt out of the way, and then Heavens can go all potty, can go all potty with the pot again, alright. And what's more, once we make the path for the water, there's a perfect place for a pretty pond. What a splendid idea, Rosie. Let's get started right away. Okay, we completed this part. We need to dig a path through that dirt over there, so the river can run all the way to the pond. I'm ready and ready to go, Lulu. Let's get smashing. Woo! <laughs> Those two are really excited about smashing some soil. Well, when it comes to earth-shattering events, you can count me in. <laughs> While you youngsters are busy here, there's a certain area nearby I'd like to inspect more closely. The forest? By the time I get back, I expect to see this river winding all the way to the mountains to the Bonanza Land Basin. What's, what's gotten into you, Perry? Everyone's jutting uh, off left and right and center, and you stood there like a statue. Not thinking of slacking off, are you? Oh no, it ain't that. It's that sound, that rumbling. I can't, uh, I can't take it anymore. Oh heavens, I can't take all this rumbling and grumbling no more. I need something to eat. But I'm sick and tired of the, <laughs> the cabbages and, and pumpkins. Aren't you, aren't you got something else? If you don't eat your greens, you'll never grow up big and strong. But if you have a hankering for more exotic foodstuffs, you're in luck. There are several small islands nearby that are simply packed with exciting ingredients. Many an explorer has set sail for those shores in search of new materials. Though the islands have uh, been long since abandoned, their secrets sleep there still. 
Evans, why don't you and Malroth take a quick trip over to one of those explorer shores and see what you can find? I seem to remember those isles being chock full of chickens once upon a time. If you bring one back, it might even lay a few eggs. I'm gonna capture 700 chickens. Chickens? Uh, how are we supposed to catch them? Well, whatever, we could cross that road when the time- when- when- when, when we come to it, when the time comes. Uh, speaking of old Brownbeard on the dock, uh, I'm sure he'll be happy to ferry you over. <laughs> Hear that, Perry? Me and Heavens are off to explore those, these islands and fetch some fine feats for you. If you get- if I get back and find you haven't helped Rosie and Lulu with the river, I'll smash every last egg right in front of you. And make you lick it off the dirt. What the what? Understood? Yes, Mr. Malroth, sir. The crippling cramps in me stomach can't, uh, ain't that bad, really. Mm. If you could bring us back a chicken, just one will do. I'll be ever so happy. I would like to have more than one. There ain't no time to be wasting. Warp yourself to the dock uh, to have that brown beard fellow take you to one of those foul infested islands. Okay. So while they're doing that, I'm curious what they have in there. Is it more of the brown? Yes, it is. It's more of this stuff. Okay. Isn't there another quest here? Aren't I not making the forest as well? If you're happy with how the river is coming along, we can start working on the wood next. And we've just a thing for that. Brittany and I have rather busy little bees recently. Here, heavens, these are for you. It's for the- it's- it, it's... Woody goodies. Uh... That ain't a... That ain't a wooden... Goody or three you've got there, is it? I've been hankering for some of that stuff since we were back on Forer Field. They got all the ingredients we need to grow a fully fledged forest. Right, oh heaven, stick that grub in the ground and let's get, uh, let's get wood working. We'll show you, um, you should legit name the wood after me or Lillian. Or both of us. And we can call it the Brilliant Forest. Uh, that'd be brilliant. Once you pop that goodie down, I'll munch away and turn the surrounding area into a girt lush forest. Just don't go placing it on two hard rocks, or you'll... Uh... You... You hear? There aren't... There ain't no one who can turn that stuff into soil. Alright, enough dilly-dallying. Pop those witty goodies down and let's start... I, w I love how they, they're explaining way too much. I need five tiles on the map. First one goes... here. Oh, that does not work at all. This, like, this place is not meant to have greenery. I'm just curious to see how this works. Well, now I'll pay attention this time. I only need two more of these. Is there a way to fast fall? Without harming myself, that is. So there's no point in fighting any monsters until I can get higher than level 10. 
I mean, there's no way I fought so much that I maxed out my level and I wasn't supposed to. That would be unbelievable. This is a lot of work to do one one millionth of of the area that I need to get done. I'm assuming once it's all done, the whole map just transforms into what it's supposed to be. Cause yeah. What happened? I put down f actual- I put down five and it didn't work. Cool. That's hilarious. There we go. It was a fine spot for the woods, heavens. Yeah, it, it, it's the same spot as the meadows. <laughs> I, I really hope it just fixes itself because there's a lot of greenery that we don't have. Uh, I bet this place uh, looks girt lush now, if I had any eyes. I, I, I barely believe them. You did a pretty tight job too, Wrigley. When uh, word of your woodworking skills goes viral, uh, you'll be straight up famous. Viral? I don't know if I like the sound of that. <laughs> Whatever Brittany's talking about, I'm sure it's a good thing. And so is this wondrous wood. Let's all take a moment to admire it, shall we? It's just darker green grass on the ground, by the way. Yeah, man, this place is looking sick. Rivers and trees go together, so, like, naturally, yeah? Yeah. It certainly does it take a lot of look a lot different than it did when we first washed up here. Good job, guys. All right, now we could go for the chickens. I kind of want to get. All we have to do now is give this. Uh, give me the. All you have to do is give me the grub, heavens, and I'll make all the fields of force you like. But for now, we got a little meadow. We got our little meadow that we've overwrote with forest. I <laughs> got a little wood and legit. We legit bossed it. Mad props to the green gang. <laughs> Tablet target's done. Okay, make forest check. Another challenge complete, I see. Cracking job, heavens. Well, uh, would you look at that? It's another mini middle. Are you gonna do this every time? Doodle pip, again. Okay, so now I believe I can leave. Okay. I can warp down to the uh, top of the mountain to the dock. We barely have this place explored, too. We went to the beach, to the mountain, and to there, and that's it. The soil was uh, in the right state before. It was in a right state before, but it all worked. Well, we all worked together to bring a uh, splash of green to the island. Thank you both for all your hard work. I can't wait uh, to swing beneath the trees in my very own forest. Uh, you'll make one for me, won't you, Evans? Yep. If that's a quest. <laughs> I can fill the whole island with trees and forests if uh, you fancy, as long as you got the feed to feed me. 
We got a lot of catching up to do if we want to make this place a, as green as Foro Field. Why can't I just build a Dia tree and make it all green imme uh, immediately? Uh, though we better get yeah. I, I I'm glad they warped with me. I thought I was done the quest. Now the Nevins, you might have finished with the meadows and forests, but the river isn't done yet. Go and have a quick chat with Rosie and Lulu. See if they need a hand. Um, they don't. I'm going to the thingy now. Ahoy, heavens. I got good news for you. I was, uh, drinking me... Sh drinking me shanty and singing me grog. You said that completely backwards again. Uh, when I spotted a couple of new islands nearby. New islands. Uh, he must be talking about the explorer's shores. All right, fish lips. You're, uh, taking us to one of those islands right now. I'll gladly ferry over, but a sailor can't work for free. But businessman, don't you forget? That said, we ain't got a, a piece of 88 between us. Tell you what, how's about you pay me with some of those shiny little hearts you've been that we've been poking in your pockets? If you're willing to part with your hard-earned hearties, I'll, it'll cover the cost of the voyage. Because I like uh, the splice of your main brace, uh, once you've paid the price, I'll take you back and back to the same island as many times as you like for no extra charge. I made a little log of the all the things I could spy on each island. If you got your eyeballs set on something particular, be sure to take a look before you set sail. That's an interesting idea to go exploring instead of just like, I thought the game was just going to lead me to the next island and I just have to deal with whatever scenario they throw at me. I can choose what island I want to go to. If you need more materials or fancy some new items, then Explorer's Shores are for you. You can even use gratitude points to unlock new islands. I should read the letters. From Saffron already. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's uh, as Halloween-y as it's gonna look. Uh, dear heavens, I trust uh, you are enjoying life on the Isle of Awakening. How's my sister Lillian getting along? The refreshing breeze here on Foro Field is perfect. We're cooling freshly baked loaves. Uh, though it does uh, little to temper Clayton's newfound passion for building, he is ever the hothead. I uh, do give my regards to everyone. Uh, ever so, ever so sincerely yours, Saffron. Lock it or discard? Cool, it's locked. And red. Oh, Evans, where will you be hauling anchor to today? Hauling anchor? Oh, view info. There is a chicken there. Infinite supply of wood, infinite supply of dry grass, and a chicken. Infinite supply of cord, infinite supply of fiber grass, and a doggy. So we can only afford uh, the 51 anyway. Can I not get back to here and grab all the hearts though? Can I not get a million hearts by just going back here, whacking the bell, get all the hearts that they gathered up and then and move on? Because yeah, I mean, I'm just going to unlock this because this is what I need to do. Is There's a chicken there. Well, gosh, 50 points to plot a course to Soggy Scary. Is that okay with you? It absolutely is. Payments of gratitude points, huh? Gratitude crystals. Uh, you can now travel to Soggy Scary. Uh, there she blows. Now you can set sail to f again. Yes, we've already established this, I thought. Anytime you like. Your travel between islands, your save data will be overwritten, and your autosave will be deleted. Please do not exit the game or turn off the system until you reach your destination. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. All aboard the trip. All aboard for a trip abroad. Time to set sail. If he ever doesn't fall down there again, I can put one plank of thing there, and that would be so nice. Yeah, because he gets stuck there, and he just gets—he just teleports. It's great. What's the- if the game actually shut off or you lost power or something, does your save file get corrupted? I guess you should save before you go. Say ahoy to Explorer Shores. 
There's all kinds of fancy materials on this island. Uh, be sure to examine everything you happen to find. Check it out and check it off the list. I told you about the little list I sh uh, shoehorned together, right? Well, they're they are they're now are well now they're yours. If you tick the items off as you examine them, then you'll know when you've seen them all. And don't worry, I can ferry whatever you find back to the Isle of Awakening. The seas leading here are as calm as a sea cucumber, so there's no risk in anything going over plank. Well, what are you waiting for? Climb up this little crop top and use your windbreaker to glide over to the main island. You can warp back here whenever you like. I could glide back over? Each of the explorer's shores has its own unique sights to see and items to discover. If you complete an island's checklist, you get a special bonus and an unlimited supply of a useful material. Check off everything. Yep. Okay. Leafy spoiled soil. Wait, I'm, I'm supposed to check like that? Clean wart. Oh, I was destroying everything. I'm not supposed to do it like that. Well, my bad. I almost done goofed this whole thing. Bossy rock. Plumberry tree. Well, I might as well check everything off this island. Whoa, you still got me. It's really hard to dodge and block. Oh, I could, I could have made a shield. Oops. I had a, l a long time ago I was given a shield. I forgot about it. Oh well. An apple?
pristine plumberry. Okay, if I try to, if I try to check it, I can't. We got some wheat here. Check. Mossy earth. Hummus. Oh, there's a hummus right here? Dude, there's just hummus right here. Umberry stump. I hear the chicken and I want it. Animal magnetism. Carefully sneak up behind an animal by gently pressing the button again and then press X to pet it. Stop attacking the chicken! This is so dumb. Go away, monsters! You're ruining everything! There we go. I just get there right away. Bef uh, Heavens befriends the chicken. Chicken joins the party. Okay. What is this? A pest. Okay. I was in the middle of a cutscene. Infinite spawning of monsters, how great is that? I was able to check something. This island is a lot bigger than it looks. I thought it was going to be a tiny little island. So we'd easily be able to run around, but no, it's a massive island. It's a much larger island than I thought. So I can't examine that? Okay.
reeds. I think I should grab some of these too. Oh no, we got those. Okay. Why is the chicken constantly running in front of me and, gone and constantly getting hit? This is a challenge. How not to, how not to injure your chicken. Can I not just run up behind it and catch it? Um, but okay. Okay, that's two chickens. Can I not just, like, send them right to the boat right now? Because I really don't want to be messing around here, but... I gotta eat. There are thorns, there are blue flowers, and then there are... Oh, these, most likely, yes. Well, you know what? Yeah. I was able to check something for one second. Chicken I don't have?
Oh, I can I can't even jump behind it. I can't avoid these enemies. That's the hardest thing to do is avoiding enemies. Oh, you're walking right towards me. There we go. Make that three chickens. How many chickens can we get us to join us? So what am I missing? I'm missing, uh... Oh, am I missing a branch like that? Check. There it is. Okay, I, I did miss a branch. Okay. Uh, I'm missing, like, leaves and then leaves again. Can I just jump up on a tree and just get it checked off, or no? Or are there different trees that I'm not quite seeing? And no, I'm not down here where I flew over. There's another- there's another thing over here. Check. Check. No. Now, if that doesn't check them, then that's not what I need to do. Is this still going? Oh my goodness. I, <laughs> this is a bit massive. I really thought these were going to be tiny little islands. Check off a tiny little list and be done in an instant. Not at all. Yeah, so more of the same stuff, basically. Okay. Oops, again, I attacked the chicken. I'm glad they regenerate, because they would have been dead by now. I didn't think I'd be exploring for 10 hours trying to find a few things on a, on a list to check off, but here we are.
I see more thorns. It looks exactly like the other ones. Builder... Builder Dumb's best. Builder Dumb's best are the 100 winning entries uh, to a building contest and they're all made by builders just like you. Use them to inspire your own creations. Um, I'll tell you what I think of your, your, your thing. I'm about to take all of your recipes. Reception, please sign the waiver. If you fall off, no crying. Yeah. Oh, hello, my name is Polly and I'm the, I'm a villager. I have, I have an idea. Why don't you take me to your island? That is positively wonderful. Heavens, was it? Let us head to your island at once. Well, he, uh, comes to live on the Isle of Awakening. I just found somebody random in some, some created place, and I got another NPC to join me? Cool. Again, I'll- I- I almost want to, like, take... Cause I don't have this quill, I don't have this bell. Oh, I can't take any of this with me? What? Boo. Oh well. It is what it is. I can't- I, I would love to take some of the ingredients with it. jump the dining table with cake okay which way was I going I was uh, going west I hit the buttons numerous times. Wow, thanks game. I hit the ground and then you heard the thing go shing shing. Yeah, that was me hitting the button before I fell. And lost health. <laughs> I got all of this stuff. I'm missing a tree? Two trees, apparently. And some kind of other... Oh, I'm probably missing a little piece off of the large tree as well. And I'm missing thorns, thank you. And, uh... And that's it. I hit the button and I got afraid. Boo. Oh, good. The chicken immediately turned around. Go. 
the other chicken joins. Okay, more wheat. I'm not here for that. I'm just I just want to get what I need to get done done. Okay, so other than what, uh, not bird's eye view and switch view and menu, can I not see what the list is? Because, yeah, it's just thorns and more thorns. So I'm missing thorns and some kind of green rock thingy, a large rock plot, I guess. This right here. Back? Nope. Well, one of these thorns has to be it. Okay, it was it was that one. Okay. Again, they all look the same. And they are different. Look at that. Okay, so now I just need some kind of grassy rock thingy, and not the one that I thought I saw. Oh man, I have not been running the right way. Oh no, we looped. We finally looped. Okay. So now that we looped, we can kind of take a hard, hard left like this and then get back into the game. I love when you get into a thing and you're checking something off, the monster will run up and the moment you pop out, you get hurt. So I'm looking for a very large green tree. And I need to go find another uh, tree that I found before over there. And then hopefully find a branch that was on it. Yeah, okay, there's two trees. And this rock really looks like it, but it's not it. Oh, whoops. Was even looking at you, chicken. You didn't even make any noise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, a branch, not like the one that we got, but one without anything, like that one, probably. Nope. It's it's a it's a root, everybody. Not a not a branch. Okay, we're almost there. I'm missing a giant tree, probably this one. No. Not that. So not that. Oh, I went the wrong way. Wow. Tiny rock? Nope, not tiny rock.
Not wheat. It's supposed to be like one tree that looks like, I guess maybe this tree here. This looks like it, but is it? Yes, okay. So an infinite supply of wood is now available. And now I just need to find some kind of rocky thing and we got it. Um, and it wasn't any of the rocks that we've seen before. So we just got to keep hoping we can find it and just fly around and look. It also looks like it'll belong on grassy terrain. Take a hard right. Oh, this is all water. I definitely don't want to do that. Can I drop off my team to him so all the chickens and stuff would be safe and my party? Oh. Explore shores are mystical lands. Yes, yes. Are you sure you want to be returning to the Isle of Awakening? When you travel between islands, you're saved. Yes, thanks, game. I can't save? I am one, like, item away from being done this island. It's one rock, everybody. It's a triple thing of rocks, and not like the ones we've seen and looked at. Let's keep going this way, unless I can't. Mossy stones. It was way smaller than it looked. We have an in infinite supply of dry grass now. Okay, good. Done. That was it. That was all I needed to do. The whole list is checked. It was a little rocks in the swamp, not on the not on the greenery grass at all. We can go. We are done. Yeah, uh, and I I got infinite supply of wood. They said that means I don't have to go and and, and farm it anymore. Kind of like the sounds of that. Okay, button mashing through it. Button mashing through it to get through faster. Okay, cool. We didn't get any, like, copper or iron or anything yet. Yeah, we haven't gotten there yet. But with all these chickens I'm bringing back, that's I'm happy to see that many chickens. I would love to get that many eggs. And, um... I guess you could get chicken out of them too, but I'd rather just have a whole bunch of... I'd, I'd like to see them multiply. Did he fall back down? We're back. I've got I've got to say that this is one obedient chicken. Let's go and show Perry. Well, oh, you'll have to take care of business here. I'll haul sail and keep my eyebrows peeled for more islands. I've heard uh, rumblings of another enormous one lurking out there in the open seas. Same size as Fora Field. Uh, give or take a fathom. Uh, I am as certain as pirates, I uh, hate body parts that come in pairs uh, that the place is inhabited. Okay, because they have hooks and peg legs. Gotcha. Maybe you can find some new mates and materials there. Another idol like for a field, right? Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> Sounds like it'll be a start of a whole new adventure. I can't wait to go and check it out. Uh, give uh, me a, a knees up when you're ready to set sail. I'm always anchored here. Except when I'm not. What's the rumbling sound? Huh. <laughs> well, look who it is. Perry, come to check out. We found the fowl. 
I'll show him the chicken and rub it in his face. I don't, I don't know why it... I really want him to be out of there. Can I attack? No. I can't, I can't get him to, to get out of there. I've been waiting for you to come back. Evans, did you bring me a cute little chicken? Did you? She's... She's adorable. Once that girl starts laying eggs, we won't have to eat uh, no cabbages no more. By the way, did Brownbeard tell you about the that girt liquor of an island he's looking out for in the ocean? Well, I reckon I might know something about it. I remember hearing about this place that was famous for mining metal right out of the ground. I knew it had to be soon, right? I was like, where's the copper? Where's the iron? A long time ago, the people of Forfield used to trade with them folks, swapping veggies for metal and whatnot. Till the children of Hargon uh, made us put a stop to it. I ain't never uh, seen no metal uh, with my own peepers. I'd love to visit that island one day and see what the place is like. Oh heavens, I nearly forgot. A letter came for you. Uh, have you read it already? I have. I might not look like a sea slug bed. But I keep myself busy every day exploring the local waters. I brought that letter back with me on my on my last pawn voyage. On your last voyage, you mean. Uh, and here I was thinking you'd rather stay holed up on your ship and exchange a single word with a, a landlubber. You're actually a world word exchanger extraordinaire. Mm. Well, Evans, the captain went uh, to a lot of trouble to deliver that letter. Aren't you going to check the post box? If it's uh, important news, I'm sure the others will others will want to hear it. There's a lot of missing letters in the, the, this conversation. I'm pretty sure I've already read it. Yeah, I did. Great. I, I'm already way ahead of this game. I'm not I'm not a gamer that needs to be told to read a letter. Why is that crab so strong? Are, are all the monsters level 10 as well? Why was that crab so strong? Oh, you know what? I really should cook some food. Infinite supply of wood. We actually do have an infinite supply of wood. That's awesome. We don't need to gather anymore then. Oh, wait a minute. I do want to try cooking one of those. That's a one star item, so it's we can get one star items. Can we get more stars? I'm assuming yes. I just don't know. I'm most likely gonna need a stove or something to cook more ingredients on. I just want this because I want to see what that item turns out to. Uh, don't I'm not waiting here for the food. I'm just waiting for the to see what this item is. So what are you and how good are you? This gives me 30% hunger. This is 25 and 10. So yeah, no, the vegetables don't seem to be as good as wheat. had him make a river okay well we're almost there my bad my bad I explored that whole island but I have infinite wood and rope I really don't have to yo heavens uh, I don't have to actually worry about farming for wood anymore and I, I farmed a lot too I not, not as much as I normally would get but while you were away we finished clearing the dirt out of the way and now the water can run all the way into the pond just like we planned. The canal is complete. You should run along and find Lulu. She's desperate to speak with you. Yeah? So I haven't been sleeping at all anymore, and yeah, you really don't need to sleep in this game. It's kind of strange that you don't have to. Oh, is the chickens here now? 
Evans, Malroth, you're back. As you can see, we've cleared the path for the river while you two were off adventuring. All we need now is some water. Ah, uh, just a gentleman I was looking for. We got a new party member, too. I bring good tidings upon further inspection of that intriguing area I mentioned. I stumbled upon a way to make our river even more impressive. However, I'll only reveal my ingenious plan once your little lake project is complete. It's almost time to pour the final piece of the puzzle into place. Let's go. Go, go. Okay, done. Complete. The chickens are all cheering, too. Now that we cleared the path for the river, it's up to you to work your watery magic again. You know the drill, yes. Wow, heavens. Oh, I'm not done yet. This is brilliant. Not only do we have a long winding river, but a lovely pond, too. We don't, actually. Not until I get it done. a new recipe what filter fountain an instrument that re redirects water and to rain down from above oh okay a fountain filled with like missing blocks of water here I love how it's like above I thought the water would spread out but no it it, it doesn't Brilliant work, Evans. The place is once a barren land without a drop of water in sight. But just look at the place now. Are we gonna get the, the rest of the river the other way done? I love the wall, though. I got a little waterfall there, too. It's so strange. Seeing all that stunning scenery leaves me practically breathless. Isn't nature wonderful? It's beautiful. Uh, do you know what the best thing about it is? Uh, we all built it together. I feel so proud. I think I might cry. <laughs> Save your tears for later, Perry, my lad. We're far from finished. I have, you know. I have a monumental plan to transform this tiny trickle into a tumultuous torrent. Oh, they're all just gonna stand in the water? I'm trying to get them out of the water. 
Time has come to put the findings of my investigation to good use and make our river bigger and better than ever before. Get on with it then. Uh, you've been going on about this plan for ages. It's not time you put your money where your mouth is. Hi is the operative word, my dear. Come, come, uh, come one, come all. To the top of the cliff after me, heavens. That's all it does when I do that. Uh, I, I always I always get water to act really strange even in Minecraft I broke the water and uh, this game has it as well where I just can't quite get the water to flow right yeah it, it's always gonna be weird I give up Continue on the waterfall from over here, right? Like I like I thought. My painstaking investigation led me to believe that the river was one once ran here too. You see the remains. Did you find all the check uh, clickable checkable items? Yes, I did. Infinite wood and infinite rope or something. I did. No problem. It was a big island though, a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, do you see the remains of the riverbed? I deduce that the stream that flowed here, uh, once upon a time ran all the way to the pond at the base of the bluffs. It'll help later on? Yes, I, I thought so. We could recreate the river of old, why this scenery would become, uh, an order of magnitude more magnificent. Let's continue this then, let's just do it. Thanks this way downhill between the rocks, that's where our second river shall run. The others will show you where you, the water must be poured. Do it again. Got it. Do it again. Got it. Got it. Okay, river is 70% done. <laughs> really good show, boy. Okay, great. I'm in the middle of a, about to fight this ant and I can't. You had, to, uh, you had to do some stuff. Yeah, you were, but it's alright. It's all good. River flows swift and true once more. Hang on, we seem to have uh, encountered a little hitch. Yeah, there you go. I, I knew that was going to happen. Thanks to you and your magical pot, the river has been restored to its former glory. Isn't, uh, are we gonna break this apart so the rivers would connect? But Benza, haven't you noticed? The river of yours seemed to have hit a rather dead end. I thought you said it was supposed to empty out into the pond. Oh, 
I'll do it myself. Well, when is a wall not a wall, my friend? When, when it's a tunnel, we merely have to dig out the earth, and the river shall flow the, all the way to the bottom. We can, we can do it. After all the work we did on the other river, we're not tired at all. Uh, we're excavating experts now. Indeed, excavating a canal is precisely the same as excavating a tunnel. It is entirely exactly identical in every conceivable way. Except one. During my inspection, I heard uh, ominous gurgling noises coming from within the rock. It could spell danger. Danger, you say? I know a boy who simply loves a bit of unnecessary risk. Balroth! Danger! Times two! Did someone say danger? I love a bit of unnecessary risk. That's Balroth for you. Something is very, something very dangerous might be, be might about to be happen. Uh, so better to lead the way but you. Heavens is going to dig a tunnel and he needs your help. We have a plan for every occasion, Lulu. Right then, Heavens, Malroth, you may begin whenever you're ready. Go forth, my friends. Break through the earth and link this river to the lake below. Aha! I think we just discovered the source of the sinister gurgling sounds. There was a water trapped within the earth. Well, that puts my mind at ease. I fear we might encounter monsters. Silly me. You may proceed with the excavation at your leisure. good for nothing's come from i'm right in the middle of it uh he gets the gurgling wasn't made by water it was the fault of those foul fiends all along what are they all doing in here well whatever their reason uh we need to get rid of the all these yeah thank you spinning attack i did a spinning attack everybody you're welcome When you look at that, we got ourselves a very own waterfall over here as well. Nice.
Okay, I'm content with this. Hey, hey, we did it, Evans. The rivers have reunited, and I feel so good. Now I want to see uh, these falls in all their glory. Let us ascend, descend, and enjoy <laughs> the view with the others. I we already did. Oh boy. My water didn't quite um. Again, I made the water all weird again. <laughs> Anyway, I can't make the water flat. I never could. E even in Minecraft, I couldn't do it. This uh, new river is brilliant. Uh, you know how to really make a splash, Evans. Indeed, uh, these new waterways have really blown my expectations out of the water. Hang on, I'm sensing a strange aura, and it's uh, moving sideways. Over there. Uh, okay, crabs. Icky, yucky, mucky crabs. So we can't fight in the water, though. Thought they'd come and cool off in our new pool, did they? Careful, Evans. Don't let them, uh, get you in a pincer, uh, pincer attack. Oh, stop waffling and get rid of them, will you? I demand steamed crab claws for my supper. slow-mo attacking here. Again, I, I'm not getting any experience. I want to level up more. I've been Smellroth. We're all underwater, so how are we breathing and talking? Thanks for taking care of those pesky cut, uh, crustaceans. Uh, I wonder what put them in such a crabby mood, though. Don't look, uh, don't look at me like that. It was a joke. All right, uh, so it weren't my best, um, best one. Maybe I was, uh, clutching at Klaus if I thought that was funny. Yes, well, in more important matters, no one's gonna laugh at that. There are a lot of wild monsters here, aren't there? Slimes, iron ants, uh, merlus mer molluscus? The list goes on. They do not seem to be affiliated with the children of Hargon, yet they pose a threat nonetheless. We must remain vigilant. <laughs> Luckily, we have Melrod to protect us. Without you, we would be crab food quite literally. You uh, may not be a born builder, but your martial prowess is beyond reproach. Me protect you? I don't think so. I only look out for my friends. And I don't make friends with bearded bumpkins. That's not... Uh, let's not fight you two. Let's get back to admiring our amazing river. What about the crab meat? It's just so beautiful. I like the little waterfall I made back there, too. And we never have done it without you and your magic pot, Evans, indeed. And my expert guidance, of course, thanks to my thorough investigation, uh, we now have not one mighty river, but two. Maybe it was, uh, maybe it was that cabbage encrusted soup strainer of yours, but I was more than a little wary of you at first, Bonanzo. 
Perhaps you're not so bad after all. Wow, even Lulu called him out. Oh, I love how all our chickens are down here too. But this is just the start. Seeing all this water ma around makes me want to build some new fields and farmhouses to make use of it. I know uh, who can take care of that. Heavens, the crown builder of Lulutopia and nature maker extraordinaire. Hooray. A rubber ring. Uh, a, flo a floaty? An inflatable instrument that'll help keep your head above water. Make a river? Done. Three mini metals. We need one more to get ten. Four, five, six, seven. No, we need, we need, we need three more to make ten. Another challenge complete, I see. Cracking job, heavens. Well, would you look at that? It's a mini metal again. Yes. We have our river, meadows, and wood. Why, uh, I think, uh, this means we completed all three of the challenges from the tablet. Uh, something to matter, Malroth? Aren't you happy that uh, we were able to complete the task? Isn't there not more we need to do? No, that, it's not that, it's just... It's just, I'm getting this funny feeling in the pit of my stomach. What's happening? Are you alright? Uh, you ain't, uh, just feeling all upset because you can't make nothing, are you? I'm sure you'll get the hang of it soon, Malroth. After all, you got heaven to show you the ropes. Just look at what he helped us create. Have you checked your map recently, Heavens? I think uh, a bird's eye view of your surroundings would really hammer home just how much things have changed. I knew Phil well that uh, you were a wizard at the workbench, but I never knew you were a worker of natural wonders as well. I, uh, I'm so proud of you. As your but no fa no elder brother figure, I cannot help but bask in your reflected glory. Yeah, man, let's uh, keep the glory coming. Even uh, though we made all this legit nature and stuff, I still want to work more. Meadows and woods are all well and good, but if we want to make a place truly special, we should think uh, about branching out. That's a cracking idea. I reckon it's high time we head off to that island and hunt for a few new mates and materials. First things first, Perry, now that we've completed every target on the tablet, we should take another look at it and see what it has to say. I'm curious if, like, the houses and stuff, since we haven't built any of the houses or anything. So this is a little bit, there's a little bit of blue and a little, very little bit of green. The brown was from the lumber that they made. Whoops. Oh, you can. I'm so glad I did it. You can't- if you fall, you can hit- you hit the wrong button, you can save yourself, uh, a, a, a fall. By hitting the button again. I have 440, what? All the tablet targets are complete. Evans feels the power force emanating from the tablet. Is it going to, like, just fix the land completely all around it now? Congratulations, I don't know what the tablet's done to you, but you look a little taller. <laughs> I look a little taller. Yeah, you certainly, uh, smashed those challenges. As I explained before, these tablets uh, are the last creations of the legendary builder who once made this place his home. His magic will transform your thoughts into targets, challenges that you must master if you want to grow as a builder. My lord and master, hear me. Oh? Who's speaking now? <laughs> Did you just say something? Malroth heard it? Hear me, Malroth. Hear me, almighty oh master of destruction. Oh, no. Who is this? Uh, what do you want? So is he going to find out that he's the master of destruction? And how is he going to take that? 
As the builder powers of creation grow, so too will your powers of destruction. Okay. I can't do anything. In this screen here, there's no button to press, so it just takes a while. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're talking about, but... You know, you feel it. When you witness great deeds of creation, a fearsome force stirs within you. He only now feels it? Well, <laughs> this is like a load screen. Ugh. Malroth becomes stronger. Magnificent. Oh, you're not gonna load for 20 minutes just to say one word. Use that power. Help the Builder to fulfill his aims. And then destroy it all at the end? I really don't want to fight Malroth at the end. Why won't you tell me who you are? I am the creator of this world, your most faithful servant. And your dearest friend. What? Okay, we'll see where this is going then. I'm trying to hit buttons, but there really is no button to press. It just goes when it goes. Oh, mighty Malroth, ma master of destruction, I await the day you awaken once more. Okay, well... I should make that shield one of these days. I might be able to take a little bit less damage when I get hit. Are you alright, Malroth? Who in the world are you talking to? I don't know, but who cares? All I know is that I feel stronger than ever, so anyone who stands in heaven's way better watch out. Most reassuring, Malroth, my boy. I have the utmost confidence that you'll protect him in the, uh, to the best of your ability. Heavens, come up to the temple when you have a moment. Spare... Uh... A, a moment to spare? There's a little side project I'd like you to crack at. Okay, I can do that. As for us former four field years, we'd rather take it by this lovely area of land. It quite reminds of us home. We've decided to move in permanently. Oh yes, it's the perfect place to start a farm. Just imagine the whole... It's filled with fields of farmyards. That'd be great, but you need to flatten out that land. That's a, a mess right now. My agricultural imagination is running wild. And I want to start cooking again. I shall need uh, an even bigger and better kitchen than the one you built for my sister on, on Foro Field. It would seem your work is not done yet. And I don't think this... Is this game ever going to end? Because <laughs> it could keep going forever, you know. I trust we can rely on you for all of our building needs, Heavens? Indeed you can. Done. Hmm? Is something the matter, Heavens? Wait, don't tell me. You want to stick around here a little longer and build the place up? I should never have assumed otherwise. Yeah, you truly are a builder to the very core. In that case, uh, check the stone tablet again. You may be in for a little treat. Aren't I supposed to talk to him for a side project? And this is a main project? I think I'll leave the side project for later. What I want to build... ...is that sh Oh, I don't have a shield. I don't have the, um... I'm not even sure where it would be. How do I make like an- oh, I need iron. I can't do it, I need to go- I need to go and get iron stuff. Okay. Well, no shield for me just yet. Uh, up to the mountain first? There's a side project? Let's do side projects first. I 
Before you complete the challenge set out on that stone tablet, make this island into a pastoral paradise. I wonder, time to whack uh, that brain of yours. Three mini medals, seven. Okay, he, I thought he said come up here and talk to him. I was lied to. Targets, new targets materialize in the tablet. Option build lots of different rooms. I'll try building rooms for your residents. Build a re build a restaurant, a simple kitchen, and a dining room. Build a room somewhere up high. A lofty living space would command a lovely view of your island. In all its glory, try building a room in an extremely elevated place. Make lots of metal. Oh my goodness, no. Find one more resident. Light up the island. Build a farm. Build lots of fields. Make all sorts of food. Okay. Eleven, did your heart uh, start a, a beating uh, faster when you checked the tablet again? It just seems like a lot of work, but yeah, we'll get there in the end, I assume. It's been filled with all your new ideas. Goodness me, that's a lot of new targets you've come up with. You really are a builder through and through. The best builders have the loftiest ambitions. If you choose to follow those optional targets, this island uh, will be pitch, uh, a pitch of paradise before you know it. They do tend uh, to take a while though, but don't feel like you have to begin right away. Uh, they'll be ready and waiting for you whenever you have the time. As for me, I'll be waiting for you at the top of the mountain <laughs> now. Okay. Pop up whenever you're ready for the new task. So I, could, I could stick around here and try to get more done. I wonder what this new task could be. Is there something to do with those new targets, do you think? Or something completely different? Look at all of the tablet's targets if you ever at a at a loose end and, and as to what to build on the Isle of Awakening. When I give one of the targets a go. I would like to get some things built, but um I have infinite wood now, right? So a wooden wall. With infinite wood, I can just build all the houses. I'm, I'm kind of thinking I like this a lot more than... ...than I could imagine. Take it all... ...but... ...one. Okay. Now... Wait, Malroth has something to talk about? That old hammer who told us to haul it up to the mountain, uh, to the temple. Do we go and see what he wants? I want to hear what the mad monster has to say too. I intend to be right beside you when he spills his the beans. Alright then, heavens, uh, let's all go up together and hear what he has to say. So, where do they want me to build? Oh my goodness, there's eggs all over the spot here. I would very much like to capture the chickens and put them in a pen. There's nowhere's to build here. This is not a flat place to build. Uh, 
<laughs> this is an awful place to build. I was gonna build rooms for them, but not here. And I'm not sure why there's a big drop down there. I, I was gonna build like by the river, but then there's also this just big drop off that goes nowhere. Where do you want me to build? I'm definitely not a fan of this place to build. I'd like a nice flat area and I could just build uh, everything I need to build. Um. I guess I can pretend. I did not want to put two down. Infinite wood, I guess I can just do this now. This is kind of nice to have infinite wood. I like it a lot. Sorry, Malroth. I want food first. I would love to give the uh, residents a nice place to to rest as well, but I'll be here for a really long time if I attempt to do that as well. But I like building like this because I can't make a mistake here. You gotta hold down and build beneath you and it doesn't you don't double stack or anything only I, the only mistake is you might walk forward a little bit all right how big is this going to be this needs to be too high this needs to be able to feed everybody that'll go into this island I think this might just be big enough for the kitchen alone, not the dining. I better be careful. I wasn't paying attention to exactly where I need to put that. Okay. This has gotten a lot larger than I intended to make, by the way.
Is Haley losing? Or, uh, Brittany? Brittany, Brittany. Too many names. Okay, well, the floor is done. So I'm doing the, the kitchen and the dining thingy that they said. I hope I don't need to make my own blueprints, um, because that would be not good. Okay, so what do I need to do? I would love to make a kitchen or something. Um, did that go scaring them? Okay. Okay, that's actually all. all. All's a little bit more easier. Um, we need, a. Uh, we need two doors. Okay, so with two doors... I need iron. Ah, okay. So as of right now, we're just going to have... Can be used to cook food and can't be used to cook food. Okay, so I need... One bonfire to make those. So yeah, I was gonna make... Four?
Do I need a light? I think I have light. I'm gonna leave that one be. Um... I just want that. Oh, wait. Can I make this too? Stone and... I think that's all I need for the... for the place? I need light from my inventory. Okay, what else do I have that would look nice inside there? Um, none of that. Need to make a bunch of beds. Um, I want this music out. And I don't see really anything else that I need. Oh, I might need stairs. I wasn't here to be making this yet. Oh, hold up, people. Um, but I do need to start cooking, so... I gotta put weed in here and they'll start cooking? Or four by four. Kind of want it like this. Ah, uh, my place isn't big enough. Okay. Whoops, I just slapped that down and that actually fit. Okay, that actually worked, but. That was just me hitting square and I wasn't really paying attention. I made four. It was 16. Whoops. Nice math. Nice mathing.
Collect all would be nice. Oh, I should do one egg. I should do one egg, right? Okay, let's see what the egg turns out. Fried egg or something else? I hit the button, but it's too, too slow again. Um... Other- oh, do I need a, pot, a, a jar in there as well? Um, and... I'll do one of them, because I, I feel like you do need one of them in there. And I want to get that music in somewheres as well. Good as the egg. The egg is 20, restores 10 HP, and effect of... Oh, I actually go up stats? Attack power increases. Is it temporary? Uh, it's, a, it's a buff. Okay. Cool. Um, neat. Let's get this room done. I was planning on just putting, like, one of these here. A dining table. Oh, I am supposed to do it like that. Uh, okay. I'm supposed to definitely do it like that. Um, one, let's just put you there. That's nice. Oh, okay, that doesn't really work though. Okay, the, that doesn't really work. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this a Dragon Class game or something? It looks like it's like uh, Japan artwork for the for the the game. It, <laughs> Well, cool. <laughs> we got something to admire when we go here. Okay. This is nice. I like the music. Oh, food is so nice. Okay, now food will start getting cooked for me as well. All right. Now that food's back on production again. Uh, and we got... I need to get... I guess I gotta get three more of these just to make sure that everyone knows to eat there. Perfect. Are you considered food or are you considered... Infinite supply of wood is awesome. I'm absolutely a fan of the, this idea, because, yeah, we wanted to build, but in order to get to do what I just did with this one house, um, I'd have to farm for a very, very, very long time, and it would have been truly impossible.
I, I like to be able to find a way to get um, a way to ring the bell and get all of the stuff back. And I'd love to f get a pen and can I pick up the chickens? I know I can't. I would I would love to be able to put them in a pen and then leave them there because there's just eggs all over the place. And I just have to run around this valley to find eggs, and that doesn't seem like the right It doesn't seem like the right call really. It doesn't. Yeah. Anyway, uh Let's go up and continue on the thingy. Why not? I, I built a little bit of thingy. I don't think anything got checked off the list because I didn't probably call it a restaurant or I didn't make it with whatever right stuff we need. But there you go. I should congratulate you again on uh, ticking off those targets on the tablet, Heavens. Congratulations. As you're well aware, the island is yours and yours alone. You're free to build whatever you would like uh, and whack it down however you like. It's whoever you like. I would love to be able to flatten the whole island out so I could build properly. Uh, you heard me right. You're already familiar with the notice board, but there's another way to connect with other builders across the space-time continuum. By going online, you can... There are many others out there who share the same creative passion as you. But how to track them down? Why multiplayer mode? Of course, that's what those were, were multiplayer mode stuff. Okay. Do you remember where you and Malroth uh, thumped that fat rat on the night you arrived here? Yes. Well, it just so happens that that cave is home to the magical porter that can whisk you away to the homes of other builders. I guess I don't need to do that. <laughs> are these the two that was supposed to join me and fill up my uh, my party? Oh, there's there's even more now. If that tickles your fancy. You should head down to the cave and embark on your own main journey through the space time teleportal. I don't care about online, so. <laughs> And if you uh, lavish some uh, attention on the area around the teleporter, any visitors will be in for a treat and a shock when they arrive. Cool. Can I go back to my farmland and just harvest all the stuff that I had and then warp right back? If I understand you correctly, we can use a portal to bring other builders who will help us build Lulatopia together? Oh, well that would be interesting, but yeah, no. And heavens can visit other people's islands and steal some great ideas for making the Empire of uh, Evisceration even more deadly. I can think of fewer things more enjoyable than building buildings and bashing blocks with all, with all one's friends. You should give it a go. Right, now if you got that out of the way... I'd say that it's high time you bolt it off to a new island in search uh, of fresh adventures. Go and speak to the captain on the dock. The little bird tells me he has some top-notch news for you. Cool, okay. And if you ever want to learn more about multiplayer mode, you, you'll have to... You only have to ask. Uh, walk up here and talk to me anytime you want. Got it. The teleporter, it's a multiplayer, great. Uh, next. Um... Fight others. I love how he's always gonna be down in this spot. He'll- unless he ever leaves, that w which would be nice. Uh, you washed up here at just the right time. Recall the island I told you about? Well, I finally, uh, smacked eyes on it. I worked out why no one's found it till now. The whole place was surrounded by water. A little flying fish told me it's called Corumble Corumbledon. Apparently they got a, a mine there that's packed with more precious stuff than you can shake a peg leg at. Of course Crumbledon 
The name uh, was on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, we were so close. The land of golden sands, where the soil is stuffed with metal, just w waiting for someone to dig it up. You surely won't have uh, to look far to find copper, silver, and or even gold and iron. I would hope. Perhaps you'll unearth uh, a few friends uh, uh, to bring back here too. With some more people on board, you'll be able to build this island up even more, and in new exciting ways using the metals and materials you bring back. <laughs> Sounds like just what we need. Come on, heavens, let's uh, see what we can find on Crumbledon. Oh, here's plenty to uh, see on Crumbledon, the legend cell of uh, rabbit-eared beauties and mighty miners with muscles on their muscles. Oh, it's gonna be those guys. It's gonna be the guys that say Gov, who's usually at the weapon- the weaponsmiths. Them. They wear that mask, it's them. <laughs> what will it be, Heavens? Can you keep constructing here or head out on a wild blue yonder? I'm gonna leave. What yonder are you after? I've already plotted the course. Second coffee, uh, second coffee stand on the left, round the holes, and we'll be there in two shakes of a slack jib. Come and find me when you're ready to go, and we'll make uh, a bow line for Crumbledon. I really want to place that there. I really, I really want them gone. Ahoy, heavens. Nice, okay. So what is the point of the bag now? The bag was there for when you left this island. Um, you, you leave your stuff behind to go to the island, but now you have this bag and you don't need those bags at all so they're just there for the one plot and they're like yeah people want to carry their items from island to island so did, was that like imported added later okay i just want to get i want to see what my farm looks like Is the hearts all there too? Have the people been cooking and, and been happy? There's been 12 hearts. I wish Malroth would join me in this thing. It's smart that that when you attack the the vegetables off, you don't break the sticks every time as well. Yeah, that's nice. I need a wheat, and I need a lot more wheat than this. getting any seeds out of these flowers, sadly. Okay. Um... I guess I could come back here from time to time. Grab... whatever they throw in here from time to time. Oh, we do not need that many.
Oh my goodness, I'm trying to walk away from the bed and all I can do is sleep. There we go. Taking a few of these with me. There you go, we got 1,500. They've been making vegetables, why? Let's get all of this put away. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that they know how to hopefully harvest and... And we'll make food. They won't just go hungry and, and not know what to do. Alright, either way, I think I can just warp back now and go. Um, I got some more stuff that I wanted. Forgot where the docks were. <laughs> Alright, uh, back home. I didn't have a... I didn't choose where I was going, did I? I didn't choose where I was going. <laughs> I thought a map was gonna pop up. Did I button mash so fast I skipped everything? Oh boy, where am I going? It could be anywheres. Well... Oh, good. This is where I want it to go. And he falls down into the spot. I, I absolutely love where that's going. Okay, um... Like a daytime. I almost want to build a, a room for everybody as well, but that's that's going to take so much time. I don't know how much I want to put into to the, that place. I really don't like that place up there where I am. I want a nice flat place like this. So strange. Yeah, all right. Either way. Can I make him fall down one more? Yep. Oh, sometimes that happens when you do a jump, you do a super... I always build near the warp point. You always build near a warp point. Point. Well, this warp point is, um... What's there at the warp point? There's a giant hill in the way. All of this is in the way. It's all mountains here. There's really nowhere to build. We can build little tiny rooms around here. And then everyone have to climb up this hill just to get their food every day? Because this, this spot here I really don't like. There's no flat spots, there's no, there's no big places to build anything. Um, so yeah, not, not a fan of this, this whole area is a problem. 
So I would like to build some results other than here. But yeah, either way, it is what it is. Um, I guess I should just head right back to where I'm supposed to be and move on. Oh. Yeah, that that's something I would do too, but my goodness, that also sounds like a long time. A long time to do. Well, either way, the episode is done. Another beautiful four-hour episode sent to you. And, uh... I think I'm just gonna focus on main story. Uh, cause the quicker I get iron, I, the, the stronger I'll get. I can make iron armor and weapons, and I know that's gonna be a giant upgrade to me. So I'd rather get that now. Um, so we're gonna head to the next island. Again, I, I need 250 points to unlock another island, and I could get infinite items on two more things. If I wouldn't button mash, let's just go slowly. Um, this island up here is... it's 300. Okay, well it's 300. And I can have infinite cord and infinite grass fiber. Um, and I can get a doggy to come back with me, so that would be kind of nice too. But, uh, oh, we can get the flowers. We can get all of the flowers there as well. I don't know what I need cord for or grass fiber, but wood was a definite must to build houses. But it, I would like an infinite of everything, yes. Um, but we should maybe hold off on that instead of just buying that as soon as we get the 300, unless it is beneficial to grab that, I don't know. I could just move on to a whole nother place right now. And uh, it'll be as, probably as long and, and, and big as this. So yeah, we could uh, we can do that next episode, I think. And then we'll slowly build up this place. But yeah, with that. Thanks, Heavenlies, for showing up and watching. And seriously, if you like what I'm doing, please hit those buttons you to do by now. And I will see you all in the next episode. Take care.